Chapter 501 Refusing to Join Translator Born to be sorry, but I don't want to. Long Chen shook his head. Long Chen, perhaps you just don't know how strong my Shu family is. Let me tell you being refused by Long Chen. Shu Wuhan didn't get the slightest bit angry. On the contrary, she smiled slightly. Monastery head, or perhaps I should call you big sister as that will make us seem closer. I don't want to join your Shu family because I don't want to be drawn into your Shu family's games. Perhaps you asked me for my benefit, as I can grow up better within the Shu family. At the same time, the Shu family will gain a powerful helper, a mutually beneficial agreement. But considering how large your Shu family must be, is it possible everyone is united? There's no inner struggle? If someone targeted me, what would I do? If you were the Shu family head, then perhaps I might choose to join. Because I can sense you truly do care about and trust me noveloon.com but you aren't the family head. Then what if one day the Shu family decides that for profit, they have to sacrifice me? What would you do then? Asked Long Chen. When Shu Wuhan first heard Long Chen call her big sister, she almost laughed. But seeing how solemn he was, emotion tugged at her heart. She now understood a bit of Long Chen's temperament. Since he had called her big sister, then he truly did think of her as a big sister. In all her years, this was the first time someone treated her so genuinely. Even in her family, there was no one who had had such trust in her. But the rest of his words caused her heart to shiver. Large families were heartless, just like how sects were heartless. In front of profit, everything else was so insignificant. Furthermore, with Long Chen's temperament, if she brought him into her family, then although he might bring some benefits, he would very likely bring trouble with him. After bringing profit, her family would smile happily towards him. But as soon as he caused trouble, if that trouble exceeded the profit, her family would not hesitate to abandon him, let alone Long Chen. They wouldn't hesitate to abandon her as well. For Long Chen to join the Shu family, there were two likely conclusions. One, Long Chen would die under the Shu family's scheming. Or two, Long Chen would live, while the Shu family, thinking of that, Shu Wuhan became covered in cold sweat. She recalled what Ling Yunzi had said before leaving. That had been a warning as well. I understand. I won't force you to join. In addition, thank you for that appellation. I feel like I'm suddenly much younger. Shu Wuhan laughed. Seeing she wasn't displeased, Long Chen relaxed a great deal. If this matter had caused Shu Wuhan displeasure, then Long Chen would have had no choice but to bring his people to leave the monastery. Currently, Long Chen was surrounded by enemies on all sides. If he had been alone, he wouldn't be afraid. But he had others with him. The Dragonblood Legion had just been formed and had yet to mature. If they were struck now, it would be a fatal blow. Although Shu Wuhan was in a high position and also used profound schemes, Long Chen felt that she was actually very kind inside, someone worthy of him trusting. He, I should be the one saying thanks. With a big sister like you, then wouldn't I be able to slap whichever sect leader I wanted? Long Chen smiled mischievously. You dare? Let me tell you, don't even think of using my name to run amok. Otherwise, I'll still put you in your place, warned Shu Wuhan. I was just joking. Do you think I'm that kind of person? Said Long Chen awkwardly. Shu Wuhan silently looked at Long Chen, but that gaze clearly said, Yes, I do. After talking to him for a while, Shu Wuhan now felt closer to Long Chen than before, and she was more casual. The Huo family is trying to make it hard on my super monastery. All our medicinal pills are purchased from the pill tower, but a few days ago, I received word that when my subordinates went to purchase medicinal pills, the pill tower said they were low on stock and could only sell us a limited amount. HMPH, those despicable little people, they want to play this game with me? Are they trying to give me a demonstration of their power? In any case, my super monastery has quite a few savings. As long as they don't completely cut us off, we can still endure for a while, sneered Shu Wuhan. TCH, a bunch of counterfeiters also dare be so arrogant? Truly courting death, Long Chen also sneered. Counterfeiters, big sister, you probably don't know this, but the bone tempering pills sold by the pill tower have had something done to them to have their medicinal effect. However, it's impossible to tell from the outside, and since all the bone tempering pills on the market are monopolized by the pill tower and others don't have the medicinal formula to refine their own, no one knows this secret, explained Long Chen. Is that true? How refreshing. Would I dare trick big sister? Well since you don't believe me, I'll refine a furnace of pills for you to see. He directly took out a pill furnace and refined pills in front of Shu Wuhan. His technique was extremely skillful. 
and he refined very quickly. In just an incense stick's worth of time, the furnace lid opened and pill fragrance floated out. They're all high-grade pills. Long Chen, you're an alchemy genius. Seeing those nine high-grade medicinal pills, Xu Wuhan was completely shocked. Although she wasn't a pill cultivator, her years of experience weren't wasted. Not only was his pill refining speed extremely fast, but he had also refined nine high-grade pills at once. That was practically unbelievable. In truth, Long Chen had been holding back. If he had refined a furnace of ringed high-grade pills, that would definitely make Xu Wuhan dumbstruck. But Long Chen didn't want to show off that much. Right now, all he needed was to prove that the medicinal pill sold by the pill tower had a problem. Big sister, look, this medicinal pill is the same quality as the bone tempering pill sold by the pill tower, but their medicinal effects are not the same, said Long Chen. Xu Wuhan carefully took out a bone tempering pill to compare with Long Chen's bone tempering pills. Bewildered, she said, on the outside, they look the same, and the medicinal energy fluctuations are around the same. There really is no way to see a difference. But more importantly, how do you know how to refine bone tempering pills? Only the pill tower had the pill formula for the bone tempering pill. That was why it was monopolized and the pill tower could make so much profit. Countless people had tried to research the bone tempering pills formula, but it was practically impossible. People found that whatever formulas they came up with would either fail to condense or wouldn't have any bone tempering effect. The fact that Long Chen could refine bone tempering pill shocked Xu Wuhan even more than his refining speed or his full furnace of high grade pills. Ah, if you can't say, it's fine, added Xu Wuhan hastily. Only now did she remember it was taboo to ask about a person's secrets. That's all right. This bone tempering pills medicinal formula is something I obtained accidentally within the secret realm. I'm not planning on keeping it secret. Long Chen smiled slightly. He couldn't tell the truth. All he could say was that he had obtained it in the secret realm, because it was possible for any kind of treasure to appear in there. More important was Long Chen's last sentence, that made Xu Wuhan jump, and she quickly said, You can't be reckless. If you make the pill formula public, you'll definitely be chased down by the pill tower. No one would be able to protect you. The pill tower had mostly monopolized the pill market, and the bone tempering pill was one of their most lucrative pills. If Long Chen made the pill formula public, the pill tower would definitely launch a harsh attack. It would be impossible for them to let him off. Why would I make it public? I just said I wouldn't keep it secret. Even if a huge amount of bone tempering pills suddenly appeared in the cultivation world, they wouldn't suspect me. There should already be certain people that have begun to sell them throughout various auction houses. Long Chen laughed. Could it be? You're selling bone tempering pills through the Huaian sect. Xu Wuhan suddenly understood. The only one that could face off against the pill tower was the Huaian sect. Long Chen's actions were equivalent to giving the pill tower a vicious cut. Long Chen detested the pill tower's lofty and arrogant fellows. From Hua Wufang's conduct, he had already realized the entire pill tower was full of arrogant people who looked down their noses at people. He had already given the pill formula to Zhen Wenlong. This was an extremely secret cooperation. When Zhen Wenlong had seen the pill formula, he had almost shouted in shock. Long Chen was doing this for two reasons. One was to borrow the Huaian sect to give a blow to the pill tower, revealing their contemptible scheme to sell fake medicine. The other goal he had was to get more bone tempering pills for himself. He didn't have enough time to refine that many bone tempering pills, so he needed the Huaian sect's help. After all, the Huaian sect also had their own pill cultivators. Furthermore, Huaian sect's reputation was famed, and they always kept secrets confidential. No one would realize that it was Long Chen who had given the pill formula to the Huaian sect back at that time. Zhen Wenlong had already said that once they began to sell bone tempering pills, Long Chen would receive a 20% dividend of the profit. It had to be known that the Huaian sect's auction houses were spread throughout the world. A 20% dividend was shocking. However, Long Chen didn't really care about it. Right now, he needed two things. One was precious medicinal ingredients while the other was bone tempering pills. To establish the dragon blood legion would require an ocean's worth of medicinal pills. If he refined all of them himself, he would end up exhausting himself to death. So cooperating with the Huaian sect was the best, mutually beneficial option. This way, it won't be long before the matter of the pill tower's fake medicines becomes public knowledge. At that time, will they still have time to care about me? This time I'll borrow the Huaian sect to give the pill tower a vicious blow. Those arrogant fellows really should reserve themselves more. 
Long Chen laughed mischievously, looking at Long Chen's sinister smile. Xu Wuhan was a bit speechless. For the pill tower to end up making an enemy out of someone like Long Chen, they really were unfortunate. The pill tower might say they were neutral in the cultivation world, but they were too arrogant, and they were lacking character. No one had a good impression of them. However, both the righteous and corrupt paths relied on their medicinal pills. There was no choice but to lower their heads to them. Once the Huai insect delivers this blow, they should be a bit better behaved from now on. Their haughtiness should also be more restrained. That's right. Sister, is there any news about Yun Wushuang? Asked Long Chen. Chapter 502 Blood Kill Hall Translator. Born to be the girl from the Yun family? In the end, she couldn't bear the torment and ended up killing herself. Long Chen, you should be careful of the Yun family. They definitely won't let this matter end just like this. Warned Shu Wuhan. So what? Will they come to kill me in the first monastery? Asked Long Chen. They won't dare do something like that. But with the Yun family's temperament, it would be better for you to be careful. Do your best not to go out. I won't be going anywhere outside the monastery for a while. They won't get any chance. Nodded Long Chen. In this world, there were always some people stealthily spying on you. As soon as you made a slip up, they would be like a poisonous viper, delivering a fatal blow with one attack. Long Chen had not gotten that arrogant to ignore other people's schemes, especially not the schemes of an ancient family. Long Chen didn't have much of an understanding about ancient families, but from their disciples' arrogance, he could tell they had to have shocking foundations. What had been revealed to him was just the tip of the iceberg. Then has Han Shian Iu died? Asked Long Chen. No, I heard he was put in an important position within the Yun family and has obtained their best grooming. Answered Xu Wuhan. What? Yun Wushuang didn't bring him along with her. Long Chen couldn't help being startled. That wasn't what he had predicted. According to Yun Wushuang's character, before she killed herself, she would definitely have Han Shian Iu killed. They should have departed this world together. I'm not clear on the exact details. As for the corrupt path, I have good news and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? Laughed Xu Wuhan. Let's hear the good news first, said Long Chen without hesitation. The good news is that Yun Luo died. You have one less opponent. He died? No way. How did he die? When he attempted to break through to the meridian opening realm, he was attacked by his heart devil, and his entire body exploded. A generation's genius died just like that, sighed Shu Wuhan. Yin Luo was a genius on the same level as Han Shian Iu, someone praised as a once-in-a-thousand-year genius. The corrupt path had spent endless effort on raising him, even sacrificing a Xianchen expert to implant Xianchen blood in him. But after encountering Long Chen, he had run into setback after setback. When he had advanced realms the last time, he had almost died to his heart devil. This time, when he had returned, he had only had half his body. Long Chen had become his nightmare. The corrupt path's experts had wanted to seal him for a hundred years. And once those hundred years were over, the memories of his heart devil would be washed away. Currently, his mental state had become chaotic and was not suited towards cultivation. But he had refused swearing to personally cut off Long Chen's head in order to wash away his humiliation. He had forcibly attacked the meridian opening realm, and thus died. Even as a member of the righteous path, Xu Wuhan sighed emotionally. That's not any good news. His life or death has no meaning to me. Long Chen shook his head. The two were enemies only because of their different positions. Long Chen didn't really feel much hate towards him. On the contrary, Yin Luo's death made him feel a slight sense of loss. Cultivation was just that cruel. The defeated would only be mercilessly eliminated. However, Long Chen wouldn't foolishly sympathize with him. If he had been the one to be defeated, then Yun Luo wouldn't feel the slightest shred of sympathy towards him. Instead, he would probably flaunt his decapitated head. That's also true. The two of you are no longer on the same level. Chosen are nothing in the face of celestials. Xu Wuhan smiled slightly. What are celestials? Long Chen couldn't help being startled. It's nothing. Realizing she had made a slip of the tongue, Xu Wuhan hastily said, As for the bad news, you've ended up on the corrupt path's must-kill list. In other words, the corrupt path will do anything they can to kill you. In truth, the reason I wanted to pull you into my Xu family is mostly because of this must-kill list. Is the must-kill list so amazing? Asked Long Chen. The only ones added to that list are the geniuses who the corrupt path thinks can threaten them. They will do anything in order to kill those people. Furthermore, they won't just attack you on their own. If they have to, they will also hire assassins to kill you, said Xu Wuhan. Assassins? 
Isn't that just a profession in the secular world? This was Long Chen's first time hearing something like this. The cultivation world also has assassins, and they are extremely mysterious. Their cultivation techniques and battle skills are all extremely bizarre, and used to assassinate others. Perhaps their true combat abilities are low, but assassinating across realms is something simple to them. In fact, there are records of some of their geniuses succeeding in assassinating targets to realms above them. They are all a bunch of devils that hide in the darkness and specialized in taking lives. The Blood Kill Hall is the organization of assassins. Just their name is enough to cause the entire world to shiver. Shu Wuhan's expression turned a bit grave. A head-on fight was not something to be afraid of. The most terrifying thing was those bizarre assassination techniques. Before you could even react, you would already be dead. Those who had been targeted by the Blood Kill Hall's assassins were mostly killed without the slightest ability to resist. However, Long Chen wasn't afraid of them. His intuition was far beyond ordinary. Anyone who had hostility towards him would be sensed immediately. It was very difficult for them to get close to him. I'll pay more attention, nodded Long Chen. Good. This is just my guess. But since you are only at the bone forging realm, they probably won't hire the Blood Kill Hall's assassins yet. But it's still best to be careful. All you need to do is pay more attention. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins also won't easily attack. As long as you are within the monastery, you should be safe. But if you go out, you should first tell me, understand, said Xu Wuhan. Yes, other than Huo Wufang, Yin Luo, and Yun Wushuang, I've also made some inquiries about Hua Biluo. That girl only woke up once she was stealthily sent home by Sha Kishin. The Hua family is extremely pleased with this matter, and I heard they ended up bestowing quite a few rewards on that girl. She's currently cultivating hard, but there is one matter that is a bit thorny. I heard you ended up killing a disciple from the heaven-splitting divine sect. Shu Wuhan frowned. Correct. He wanted to kill me, but I killed him in the end, said Long Chen. Where did you learn the first style of split the heavens? Asked Shu Wuhan. Long Chen explained how he had obtained it within the imperial capital in detail. He didn't hide anything. Do you know why the disciple from the heaven-splitting divine sect would attack you? Asked Shu Wuhan. To take my treasures. Yes. Taking your treasures is one aspect. But the real reason is he suspected there was an even greater secret on your body. That was why he attacked you. You probably don't know. But the heaven-splitting divine sect has two powerful techniques they rely on. One is the nine styles of split the heavens. While the other is the battle god sacred canon. Their battle god sacred canon is a cultivation technique that is as famous as the Zuanshan Deo sect's Zuanshan record. Those are priceless treasures that were passed down from the immortal era. However. Our Zuanshan record only contains Deo mysteries, and it is incredibly profound. It is all-encompassing and yet incredibly deep. It is not a cultivation technique or a battle skill. It is something that can only be comprehended by those with great wisdom. As for the battle god sacred canon and split the heavens, they complement each other. They are a full set, and without studying the battle god sacred canon, it is impossible to use split the heavens. That is why he suspected you were lying, even if you hadn't had any treasures. He still would have killed you. I'm telling you these secrets only for you to know. You can't tell anyone else. The battle god sacred canon is complete. While split the heavens has become damaged. The first six styles still exist. But the final three have disappeared from this world. That's why the heaven splitting divine sect's disciples will go to all the various secret realms to test their luck. To see if they can find the portion that has disappeared. That disciple suspected you had the complete nine styles of split the heavens. Which is why he wanted to kill you. That misunderstanding really was large. Sighed Shu Wuhan. Then what will they do? Asked Long Chen. The heaven splitting divine sect is a bunch of domineering madmen who don't talk reason. If they knew that you had learned the first style of split the heavens and could even use it. They would definitely have you hand over your cultivation technique. Said Shu Wuhan. They shouldn't even think of such a thing. If they dared. Then unless they kill me. I will plague them for an eternity. Said Long Chen icily. They weren't even able to protect their own battle skill, causing it to spread. And now they wanted someone else to hand over their cultivation technique? Were they dropped on their heads as children? They wanted the nine-star hegemon body art? Keep dreaming. If they really dared try something like this, Long Chen wouldn't mind undergoing his tribulation at their home every time he advanced. You don't need to worry too much about this either. The heaven-splitting divine sect isn't located in this region, and they won't necessarily learn about this news. I'm just telling you this so you're prepared on the off chance they appear, consoled Shu Wuhan. Although that was what she said, 
She was extremely worried inside. The heaven-splitting divine sect was an enormous sect on the same level as the Zhuanshan Dao sect their inheritance stretched back countless years. Furthermore, they were extremely domineering and hard to talk with. The Zhuanshan Dao sect definitely wouldn't face off against the heaven-splitting divine sect for just one disciple. But the one thing that comforted her was that those disciples in the secret realm were unaware of the heaven-splitting divine sect's existence. Those smaller sects wouldn't know about the heaven-splitting divine sect's matters, so she could only pray this news wouldn't reach there. Otherwise, a great catastrophe would befall Long Chen. During this time, you should just peacefully cultivate in the first monastery. If you have any problems, you can find the assistant monastery head. Tomorrow, I'll leave for the Zhuanshan Dao sect to handle some things. Remember to be more well-behaved for me. Don't cause any trouble. After Xu Wuhan's repeated warnings, Long Chen left her room, his mood a bit heavy and also a bit angry. Fuck. Why are there so many spears pointed at me? I'll just focus on cultivation right now. Whoever wants to die can come. Long Chen clenched his teeth and stepped onto the transportation formation that would send him back to the first monastery. Chapter 503 Red-Robed Woman Translator Born to be once he returned to the first monastery, Long Chen immediately entered seclusion. He sensed a crisis coming. He was surrounded by enemies, and he urgently needed to increase his strength. He began to refine bone tempering pills for himself. Currently, his body had already been tempered to the peak from his thunder force. He constantly refined the bone tempering pills, as his body was too powerful, and the number of medicinal pills he needed was shockingly high. Even after consuming dozens of ringed bone tempering pills, Long Chen had only tempered a single bone. Half a month later, he had tempered six bones. On this day, Long Chen received a nice surprise. A middle-aged man from the Huaian sect had come. He was a Xianchen expert that Long Chen had never seen before. After seeing Long Chen, he didn't say much. Handing a spatial ring to him, he said the second batch would come quickly and then left. When Long Chen looked inside the spatial ring, he almost cried out. It was filled with barrels. Each barrel was filled with pills. After a quick count, he found there were 300 barrels, each one containing 10,000 medicinal pills. Zhen Wenlong really handles things perfectly. Long Chen was filled with ecstasy. After handing Zhen Wenlong the pill formula, he had also revealed that he needed an immense number of bone tempering pills. He had even included his idea to create the Dragon Blood Legion. Back then, Zhen Wenlong couldn't help being a bit moved. He promised to send medicinal pills to him as fast as possible. Long Chen was unaware that as soon as Zhen Wenlong had returned to the Huaian sect, he had gathered hundreds of alchemists to refine these pills day and night. He had also sent letters reporting to his superiors, and they had attached great importance to this pill formula, sending over a thousand alchemists for Zhen Wenlong. It went without saying that the Huaian sect was simply enormous. After obtaining the pill formula and seeing the potential for immense profit, they began to crazily refine bone tempering pills. With that many alchemists refining day and night, the medicinal pills poured in. However, Zhen Wenlong had long since said to his elders that of the first batch, 80% of them had to be reserved for himself. Those were to be given to Long Chen. The Huaian sect's higher ups had already sent down orders giving the authority to Zhen Wenlong. So now, 3 million medicinal pills had been sent to Long Chen extremely quickly. Long Chen had to prostrate himself in admiration towards Zhen Wenlong's methods. He had truly helped him out greatly this time. Only someone like Zhen Wenlong possessed this kind of boldness. Furthermore, Zhen Wenlong was also an astute businessman. The remaining 20% of the medicinal pills were rapidly being spread in the world. It had to be known that the bone tempering pills had been monopolized by Pill Valley for countless years. Their price had always been extremely high. This time, Zhen Wenlong wanted to use a large-scale method to show the entire world that the Huaian sect also possessed the bone tempering pill, and its effect was even twice as great as the pill towers. The Huaian sect put out words that they had managed to research the pill formula on their own. That idea had been proposed by Long Chen. Not only would that show the Huaian sect's power, it would also protect him. Although the pills looked the same on the outside, their pill was twice as effective. That was a vicious slap in the face for the pill tower. Furthermore, the pill tower had to endure it, as they couldn't say it was their own pill formula. Otherwise, how could the same pill formula end up with different medicinal effects? It wasn't as if they could admit they had done something to the pills to cut their medicinal effect by half just to make more money. Right now, Zhen Wenlong wasn't selling them all. He first sent them throughout the world. 
storing them for a suitable time to give Pill Valley another slap in the face. A businessman was extremely patient. As for Long Chen, after obtaining 3 million bone tempering pills, he directly distributed them amongst the Dragonblood Legion. When they saw the barrels of medicinal pills, they couldn't believe their eyes. Medicinal pills were always stored in bottles, not barrels. Long Chen sent down orders to consume them quickly and temper their bones as fast as possible. This was just the start. In the future, there would be even more medicinal pills for them. Although they had no idea how Long Chen had done this, the Dragonblood warriors were all incomparably moved. They saw a new path for themselves. Long Chen had already upgraded their spirit roots. Right now, they all possessed at least silver spirit roots. Their cultivation speed was 10 times as fast as before. Now, they had already reached the Four Temper Realm. In the past, the Four Temper Realm was the final goal of these ordinary disciples. But in the Dragonblood Legion, that was only the start. Thinking of how they would follow Long Chen to stand at the peak of the martial path, fighting against this world's top heavenly geniuses, they were all filled with excitement and began to devour the bone tempering pills, refining their energy. After setting that up, Long Chen began to consume them like snacks, ferociously gobbling them. Although those were only ordinary high grade bone tempering pills and not as good as the ringed pills he refined himself, they had the advantage in terms of quantity. Long Chen saved an immense amount of time now. If the quality wasn't up to par, then it could be made up with quantity. Each time he opened his mouth, he stuffed himself with them until he couldn't fit any more in before refining their energy to temper his bones. Bone tempering was using the medicinal pill's energy to completely purify the bones. The impurities in bones were the hardest to remove, so tempering bones was extremely important. Only when the skeleton was sturdy enough could a body bring out its full power. With each bone he tempered, Long Chen felt his body strengthening. That wasn't his power that was increasing. It was his physical body becoming stronger, allowing him to bring out more of his power. Only with a powerful body could a person bring out 100% of their power. Before bone tempering, if Long Chen had used too much of his power, then his own skeleton wouldn't have been able to endure it and would have broken apart. When he fought, although he might feel like he was releasing his greatest power, in truth, that wasn't his greatest power. His body would instinctively hold his own power back as to not injure himself when fighting explosively. That kind of instinct could not be changed, as it was simply self-protection. Even if Long Chen was willing to throw caution to the wind and use his full strength, willing to destroy his own bones, that still wouldn't work. Instinct was instinct, and it was extremely difficult to control. But now that he had begun bone tempering, it was no longer so awkward. As long as the skeleton was able to endure it, the body's instincts would allow a person to automatically bring out their greatest strength and would no longer hold back their power. Long Chen was in that kind of situation. Previously, he had been like a beggar sitting on a treasury. Now, he was slowly unlocking the treasure, finally able to spend his own wealth. In just six hours, Long Chen consumed a whole barrel of pills. In other words, 10,000 bone tempering pills. He could feel his body faintly rumbling and energy overflowing from within him. I finally reached the Ten Temper Realm. Long Chen clenched his fist excitedly, feeling the surging energy within his body. For Long Chen, tempering his bones required far, far more bone tempering pills than others. However, that wasn't able to hold him back when he consumed them this quickly. For others, eating three pills at once would already be a great deal. If they consumed any more, their bodies would not be able to bear the medicinal energy, and that would waste some of it. But Long Chen's physical body was stronger than a magical beast's, and the impact of the medicinal energy could be completely ignored. Although this wasted a portion of the medicinal energy, he cared more about time. Wasting a few medicinal pills was fine. After eating a full barrel of bone tempering pills, Long Chen adjusted himself slightly and began to consume the second barrel. He thought of wild. If it was wild, perhaps he would swallow ten barrels in a single go. However, his body didn't need any medicinal pills. All he needed was flesh. He could extract the purest essence from magical beast flesh to nourish his own body. Right now, Wild was with Kang Ming, and considering Kang Ming's love for him, he was definitely spending his entire time hunting magical beasts for Wild. Most likely, Wild's cultivation speed was at least as fast as his own. Last time, in the secret realm, the mysterious mark on his forehead had lit up, and his ki and blood had explosively grown. On his own, he had held back Yun Luo, Han Shian Ayu, and the other peak experts' attacks. At that time, it had felt as if Wild already had some of the aura of the barbarian race expert. 
This still isn't fast enough. I'll have to go faster. Thinking of wild, Long Chen began to consume them even faster, crazily refining the medicinal energy to nourish his bones. When he finished with the seventh barrel, he had already tempered sixteen bones. Standing up, he felt his body was filled with limitless energy. Bang! He smashed his own chest with his fist, causing the air to buzz around him. But Long Chen didn't feel any pain. Nice. This kind of physical body really is refreshing. Long Chen could feel that this fist could easily crush boulders. But when it smashed onto him, it just caused some noise. This was his first time experiencing the terror of bone tempering. That made Long Chen incredibly ecstatic. But it also made him feel a bit pained. Long Chen had consumed 70,000 bone tempering pills to temper only 16 bones. For others, eating 70,000 bone tempering pills would be enough for them to temper over half their bones. According to Long Chen's previous estimations, for a single person to undergo complete tempering, it would require around 100,000 high-grade bone tempering pills. But now he found that this estimate wasn't very accurate. It seemed the stronger a person's physical body was, the more difficult it was to temper their bones, and the more pills they would require. Due to that, he would probably require more than the original 36 million pills he had estimated. But as long as he could allow everyone to undergo complete tempering, he didn't care about that. He wanted to create a loyal and hot-blooded army of his own. Scram. Call out Long Chen. Suddenly, a woman's voice rang out from outside accompanied by the sound of the perimeter defenses collapsing. Long Chen couldn't help being startled and hastily rushed out to take a look. He saw that the two disciples guarding the gate were already collapsed on the ground. Unconscious. The walls constructed around his seclusion area had also been destroyed. He saw there was a red-robed woman standing there. She looked to be around 35 years old with a mole on her chin. That woman icily looked at Long Chen. You are Long Chen. Who are you? Long Chen's heart shivered slightly. He sensed a terrifying pressure from this woman. Neil when you speak to me. Novaloon.com a sneer suddenly appeared on her face. And a terrifying natural energy crashed down upon Long Chen. Chapter 504 Fury Source Translator. Born to be Neil. Long Chen immediately felt as if the space around him had frozen and a terrifying natural energy was crushing him. Boom. The ground beneath his feet collapsed, and a terrifying key wave blew apart the residence behind him. He felt as if a mountain was crushing his body, but he still refused to kneel. He used his physical body to resist that terrifying pressure. Who do you think you are to make me kneel? Long Chen roared furiously, glaring at that woman. He couldn't understand what was going on. He had never even seen this woman before. Why would she come to humiliate him? Who is it? This disturbance immediately drew the monastery's attention, and countless people began to rush over here. Seeing that the woman was actually targeting Long Chen, they roared furiously. Scram! The woman's cry became a surging sound wave that blasted those charging disciples and elders, causing them to faint. Long Chen took advantage of that to take out Bloodrinker and attack the woman. HMPH, don't bother showing your insignificant skills in front of me. That woman sneered and lightly slapped his blood red saber. Long Chen felt an immense power transmit through it. The sleeves of his robes burst apart, and he was unable to keep a grasp on his saber. Bloodrinker flew into the distance, destroying a small building a mile away. You're so rude to a senior. It seems your family never taught you any manners. Then let me take the place of your parents to teach you how to respect your elders. Her hand struck like lightning, slamming onto Long Chen's shoulder. A terrifying natural energy surged into his body, and he vomited a mouthful of blood. Neil. She increased her force, wanting to force Long Chen to submit. Keep dreaming. Long Chen's eyes filled with flames of rage. This was his first time being humiliated like this by someone. He circulated his full power to resist that terrifying force. TCH. Your bones really are hard. Let's see just how long you can endure. The woman was slightly amazed, but then she sneered and increased the force. Boom. The ground beneath Long Chen's feet crumbled. He felt as if his bones would be crushed to pieces. This woman was too powerful, and Long Chen felt as if all of heaven and earth were crushing down on him. There was simply no way to resist. Seeing that Long Chen was still able to hold on, the woman couldn't help being shocked. But that shock was quickly replaced with icy killing intent. Your cultivation technique clearly has an evil air. You're definitely a spy who snuck their way in here from the corrupt path. Once I look into your mind see, everything will become clear. She sneered and pointed a finger at Long Chen's forehead. Light shot out. Runes shining brightly. Powerful spiritual strength surged out of her. Look into your fucking mother. 
Long Chen roared and punched her finger. The woman sneered in disdain upon being punched. Once his fist touched her finger, the force from her finger would obliterate his fist. Boom. But her expression changed when Long Chen's fist struck her finger. Violet lightning had surged out of his fist, and she was actually forced back a couple steps. Die. Taking advantage of this opening, a lightning spear appeared in his hands, and he stabbed it at her chest. The woman was startled upon being knocked back, but with a cold snort, light blossomed from her palm, and runes filled the air, colliding with his spear. His lightning spear crumbled upon meeting her fist as if it had just been a toy. There had been no threat at all. A chill ran through Long Chen. He instantly understood this woman was not someone he could handle. Seal the heavens. Lock the earth. Forming hand seals in front of her. Countless runes flew out from the surrounding space. And Long Chen found he was unable to move at all. An evildoer from the corrupt path dared barge into my righteous path? Let me see just what origin you have. She pressed a finger onto his forehead. And powerful spiritual strength attempted to pierce through his mind see. Long Chen knew this woman was extremely vicious and wanted to examine his mind see. That way, all his secrets would be exposed to her. All his soul energy surged out, forming a spiritual wall, preventing her spiritual strength from invading. Oh, I wouldn't have expected your spiritual strength to be so powerful. But in front of me, it's still insufficient. With a snort, the runes on her finger enlarged. A powerful buzzing erupted in his mind see. He felt as if a hammer was striking his head, and blood poured out from his seven apertures. She was using a powerful spiritual technique to destroy his defenses, causing him to be injured. HMPH, let me see just what secrets you're hiding. She snorted, just about to forcibly examine his memories. Suddenly, a sharp attack shot at her back, and her heart turned cold. She felt the sensation of death from that attack. Ignoring Long Chen, she hastily dodged to the side. She had just dodged when a palm struck her in the chest, seemingly having predicted how she would move. She coughed up a mouthful of blood and flew back. Only now did Long Chen recover and see a beautiful woman in front of him. Monastery head, the one to save him was Xu Wuhan. Her expression was frosty. When she looked at the blood pouring out of Long Chen's apertures, killing intent appeared in her eyes. Xu Wuhan, how dare you use such a heavy blow against me? After coughing up a mouthful of blood, the woman's entire chest had sunk in slightly. Oh, so it was assistant monastery heads how? So sorry. I thought it was some expert from the corrupt path who came to kill my disciples. What a misunderstanding. Shu Wuhan came to a sudden realization. You, you clearly did this intentionally. That attack contained just enough power to injure me. I'll report this to the Dao sect. Saying you used your position selfishly. She raged. Zhao King Gai, don't randomly slander people. It was you who used such vicious methods against my disciple. That's what made me mistake you for a corrupt expert. And that's the only reason I had to attack you. It can only count as a misunderstanding, said Shu Wuhan lightly. After saying that, she grabbed Long Chen's hand, and he felt a strange fluctuation surge into his head. Unlike that woman, Shu Wuhan's energy was nourishing and healing, and the intense pain of his soul quickly faded. I just thought his cultivation technique was odd and wanted to test him a bit. But for you to use such a heavy blow against me, you clearly tried to injure me intentionally. Raged the woman who had been called Cao Kingai. Whether or not you were just testing him out and whether or not I did it intentionally is something we're all clear on. There's no need to debate it. Remember, although you might have reached the sea expansion realm, this place is not the Zhuanshan Dao sect this is the super monastery. And I am the monastery head. While you are just the assistant monastery head, you had best reserve yourself a bit and not run amok. If you irritate me, I don't mind paying any price to kill you said Shu Wuhan icily. You dare. If you kill me, a disaster will befall your entire Shu family. I don't believe you have that ability, sneered Cao Kingai. Whether or not you believe it is up to you. I can first kill you then slaughter your son. And the worst case is that I'll have to leave the Zhuanshan Dao sect and take the world as my home. In any case, I have no sons or daughters and can do whatever I want. What do you think? Said Shu Wuhan. You. Cao Kingai's expression changed. I don't like wasting words. You can scram now. Don't think that just because you've managed to get the assistant monastery head position that you can reverse this game. If you provoke me, I'll kill you two chis pieces all the same, said Shu Wuhan. Good, then we'll see what happens in the end. Don't think your Shu family will be able to keep the advantage forever. Zhao King Gai snorted, viciously glaring at Long Chen before a pair of wings appeared on her back. 
She flew into the air and disappeared from everyone's sights. Boss, what happened? Guo ran and the others now ran up. The first monastery was too large, and Long Chen's residence was very isolated, which had been what he had wanted. By the time the others arrived, everything was over. But seeing that Long Chen was covered in dust, his clothes ruined, and his face still covered in blood stains, they were all alarmed. It was nothing. You can go back to cultivating. I have some words to say to the monastery head, said Long Chen. Although everyone had countless questions, they could only leave since Long Chen refused to answer. Especially with the monastery head present, it was extremely inconvenient to press him. They all left. I'm sorry, Long Chen. I've implicated you, apologized Xu Wuhan. Long Chen smiled slightly and cleaned himself up a bit. This can't be blamed on you. This is just life. Conflicts never stop. Unless you manage to completely kill your opponents, you don't need to feel guilty, big sister. I've already remembered this is how King Gai, and I'll repay this humiliation she gave me today a thousand times. A touch of killing intent appeared in Long Chen's eyes, as this is how King Gai was completely intolerable. Seeing that Long Chen still called her big sister just caused Xu Wuhan to feel guiltier. In truth, she did this as a display to me. You were just an innocent victim. This time, the Zhao family ended up losing a half step C expansion expert, and so they immediately struck back, sending in applications to the higher ups. In order to express their apologies, they sent a true C expansion expert to take Zhao King Gaiu's place. But in truth, they are unwilling to accept Defituring and want to use this chance to knock me down. So if you want to leave the monastery, I won't stop you. If I left the monastery now, that would be too stupid. Furthermore, how could I leave my big sister to fight on her own? Said Long Chen. I'm afraid she'll target you and will make things as hard as possible for you in order to affect your cultivation. Furthermore, the Zhao family is extremely interested in your secrets. Also, Xu Wuhan sighed. Your Xu family is also interested in my secrets. Right. Long Chen took her place to finish her sentence. Xu Wuhan bitterly smiled and didn't reply. Within the secret realm, many people had seen Long Chen merge with a mysterious bead. Everyone was curious about it, and the Shu family was no exception. But you don't need to worry. Since you've called me sister, I will protect you, said Shu Wuhan. Good, then us brother and sister can fight together. To tell the truth, I really do want to kill that woman right now, said Long Chen, clenching his teeth. That woman was too hateful. Crushing her right now isn't an option. She's the same as me, a sea expansion expert. I'm just higher within the realm. Furthermore, I have some bad news for you. Your first monastery is about to get a new sect leader. That's something arranged by the higher ups, and he'll be arriving tomorrow, said Xu Wuhan. A new sect leader. Yes, it's Hao King Gai's son. Hearing that, Long Chen's eyes brightened slightly, and a sinister smile appeared on his face. Good, very good. Chapter 50520 Temper Translator. Born to be her son is going to come be sect leader? Our Zuanchen Dao sect really is interesting. After killing a mother-son pair, another mother-son pair arrives. Could it be that our Zuanchen Dao sect uses a matriarchal inheritance? Long Chen's words were filled with dense ridicule. Xu Wuhan couldn't help feeling a bit awkward. Although Long Chen's words weren't targeted towards her, this matter truly was bothersome. This time, she had struck thunderously, killing Sha Kishan and having Zhao King Gaiu sent to the executioner's block noveloon.com but that didn't mean her Xu family had won. They had just taken a slight advantage. This time, the Zhao family had truly been slapped in the face by the Shu family, and this slap had been too resounding. Their covert struggle immediately became an open fight. Through their connections, the Zhao family had managed to have Zhao King Gai come here to target Shu Wuhan. Did the Shu family think themselves to be so amazing? Then what if they sent someone here just to keep an eye on her? Unless she never made a mistake, they would bite her to death in the end. What Xu Wuhan felt most helpless about wasn't just that others would take advantage of her mistakes, but that they would frame her for crimes she hadn't committed. To have to be on guard like this every day was like walking on eggshells. Furthermore, Zhao King Gai's methods were extremely vicious, and she had taken advantage of Xu Wuhan being at the Dao sect to target Long Chen. Long Chen was just an insignificant bone-forging disciple. Even if he died, that wouldn't cause any waves amongst the higher-ups. Furthermore, even if he died, the Zhao family could easily make up some high-sounding reason. His death would be nothing. After suffering such a loss, the Zhao family was planning on using Long Chen to display their power. They had now shown the initial display of strength for Xu Wuhan. 
What they didn't know was that this display of strength had ended up inviting a Yama king to their Zhao family. Xu Wuhan could also see that Long Chen had become Zhao King Gai's target, so for his safety, she wouldn't stop him if he wanted to leave. But after suffering such a loss, how could Long Chen leave like this? He had never suffered such a humiliation. Sister, can you explain what the relationship between your two families is? Asked Long Chen. He needed to know some of these behind-the-scenes secrets. Xu Wuhan hesitated, pulling Long Chen to a more hidden place before telling him some of the secrets of the Zhuanshan Dao sect within the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Other than the old patriarch's bloodline, there were also four great powers. Those were the Yan, Hu, Zhao, and Xu families. Originally, the old patriarch had had four major disciples, and these four families were their progeny. Their ancestral line went back shockingly far and their power definitely surpassed Long Chen's imagination. However, the four families were not very harmonious. Fights and schemes could not be avoided. The ones who were most at odds with each other were the Zhao and Xu families. As for what enmities the two families had, Xu Wuhan didn't say. All she said was that their two families were like fire and water, and if it wasn't for the patriarch's bloodline suppressing them, they might have even started a full-scale war. From her words, Long Chen learned just how terrifying the Zhuanshan Dao sect was. That was because she had said that in her family, her power was ranked near the bottom amongst the higher levels. That was the only reason she had been sent outside and didn't remain in the Dao sect. She didn't tell him too much about her family's internal structure. All she said was the Zhao and Chu families were using Zhao King Gaiyu's death in order to turn their covert struggle into an open struggle. That was why Zhao King Gaiyu dared target Long Chen like this. She won't attack me again. Right, asked Long Chen. Don't worry, I'll keep my eye on her. If she dares be so unbridled, I'll cut down that mother and son personally. The worst case is that I have to leave the Dao sect and go out to travel the world. But I trust she won't attack you again. However, once her son comes as sect leader, he most likely will make things hard on you. They're doing this deliberately to pressure you into leaving the monastery. Once you leave, you'll be attacked on all sides, as both the righteous and corrupt paths want your life. Once you die, she'll have essentially won this match. At the same time, she will have proved my own powerlessness at being unable to even protect my own chis piece. That's why the competition between myself and Zhao King Gai will very likely end up affecting the first monastery. If you want to leave, I can send you off safely. Going to Mo Gate would be a good choice, said Xu Wuhan. She didn't want Long Chen to be implicated. After all, Zhao King Gai was too despicable. For her to actually attack a child, Xu Wuhan had underestimated her shamelessness. If she hadn't arrived on time, Long Chen would have had his memories examined, which was an absolute humiliation. Even if she didn't end up killing him, his Dao heart would receive a powerful blow. Perhaps he might never be able to advance again. As long as she doesn't attack, it'll be fine. As for her son, he should be a Xi'anshan expert, correct? Asked Long Chen. Yes, he's just at the mid Xi'anshan realm. In truth, he's just a piece of trash. Even in an excellent place like the Dao sect, it took him 130 years to reach the mid Xi'anshan realm. He's the weakest of the weak. His strength is exceedingly low for his level, and his combat experience is essentially zero. A touch of disdain appeared on Xu Wuhan's face as if she were describing a piece of crap. Then that's fine. As long as that vicious woman doesn't attack me, there's nothing to be afraid of. She wants to set herself against you? Then good. I'll help you accompany this mother-son duo. Long Chen smiled, but that smile was extremely chilly. But, Xu Wuhan was not completely at ease. There's no bots. As long as you can hold back that woman, I guarantee I can play her son to death without batting an eye, said Long Chen. Fine, we'll do as you say this time. I'll keep my eye on her, but you should focus on safety, warned Xu Wuhan. Once Xu Wuhan left, Long Chen viciously kicked a boulder beside him. The boulder instantly burst into broken pieces. They think I'm an ant they can crush at any moment? Fine, I'll go all out against you. Now that he was alone, he finally released his fury, his eyes filled with icy killing intent. In front of that woman, Long Chen had felt himself to be a tiny ant, one that could only accept humiliation and be controlled by others. He felt himself to be so incredibly useless. Looking around, he saw this residence had already been destroyed. Everything within a few miles had been raised, and so he couldn't live here anymore. After thinking for a moment, Long Chen gathered up Guo Ran and the others. They went through the monastery's rules in depth, as they couldn't allow anyone to find evidence of any of their possible wrongdoings. 
Even if Long Chen used the back of his foot to think, he would still realize the new sect leader would nitpick whatever they did. He would come up with anything to put them in their place. In order to avoid being caught breaking the rules, they had to be careful. For now, Long Chen simply told them not to say anything tomorrow and to only take actions according to his signals. After setting that up, Long Chen found a new residence and began cramming medicinal pills down his throat. He couldn't waste a single moment right now. He had to quickly temper his bones. Long Chen had already had everyone stop cultivating their realm. Bone tempering would passively increase their cultivation base. And he was worried people would advance to meridian opening before tempering all their bones. Then they would be doomed. Once you reached meridian opening, it was impossible to temper more bones. In other words, how many bones you had tempered before that point was set in stone. Your foundation could not be changed. As for Guo Ran, Gu Yang, and the others who had been in the secret realm, there had been no way around increasing their cultivation base back then, as that had been to preserve their lives. Once they had returned, Long Chen had given them medicinal pills to temporarily lock their cultivation base in place so they could still undergo complete tempering. Boom. An explosive sound rang out from Long Chen's body suddenly, and his aura surged. I've reached the first heaven stage of bone forging. Just now, he had tempered two more bones, allowing him to advance. My bone tempering speed is slow, but my advancement speed is fast. Now it'll be troublesome. I should think of a way to suppress my advancement. Long Chen also had to finish tempering all his bones before advancing to the meridian opening realm, or his foundation would forever be flawed. At just 18 tempered bones, he had advanced to the first heaven stage. If it continued according to that speed, he would end up advancing at just 180 bones. But the human body had 206 bones, so he would have to suppress his advancement. Oh, wait, there's no need. I don't have 10 levels to advance, but 13. Then it's exactly perfect. Long Chen suddenly recalled that he was different from others. Others had 10 levels to advance, but he cultivated the 9-star hegemon body art, so he had 13 levels. Now Long Chen was at ease and began to crazily devour more pills. He was a typical case of a person who couldn't stop consuming medicine. That made him understand that his pill god memories were practically a perfect set with the 9-star hegemon body art. If it weren't for the pill god memories, there would be no way for him to keep up with the immense demands of the 9-star hegemon body art. Furthermore, he had noticed that his body had no rejection to medicinal pills at all. No matter how many of one pill he consumed, he still absorbed 100% of its energy. That was different from a regular person. After three of the same pill, the body would form a resistance to it, and the medicinal pill would have no effect. Of course, this excluded certain pills that could be consumed almost limitlessly, like the bone tempering pill. Not only could he absorb all of a pill's energy, but the impurities within the medicinal pills, in other words, the pill toxins, were all expelled through his pores. Originally, he had prepared some spirit medicines used for expelling pill toxins, but he had given those away to others as he didn't need them. When the rising sun finally pierced through his window and lit up his body, he slowly opened his eyes, smiling contentedly. I finally reached the 20 temper realm. By tempering 20 bones, he had far surpassed those top disciples of large sects. Furthermore, this was something he had achieved because of himself. Within the entire Zhuangshan supermonastery, only Long Chen was able to allow someone to temper this many bones. Even people like Xu Wuhan and Cao Qingai, people with powerful backgrounds, were unable to reach the 20 temper realm. No matter how powerful their backgrounds were, they weren't heavily favored by their sects, and so it was impossible for them to get such a luxurious treatment. Each bone tempering pill was expensive, and to undergo complete tempering required over a hundred thousand of them. Unless you were the most favored figure in your sect, no one would spend such an immense amount of wealth on you. To let over 300 people undergo complete tempering, perhaps Long Chen was the only one in this world who possessed that qualification. The reason Long Chen had this qualification was mostly because of his cooperation with the Huaian sect otherwise. He wouldn't have enough time to refine that many pills. He pushed open his door. It was about time for the new sect leader to arrive. Long Chen wanted to see what kind of bastard son a malicious woman likes how King Ai could have. Chapter 506 Little Snow's Terror Translator Born to be the first monastery's transportation formations were located on the north side of the plaza. Only the first monastery possessed enough territory to place their transportation formations within the heart of their monastery. Compared to the first monastery, 
the 108th monastery they had come from was wholly insignificant. Currently, Tu Fang and the others had long since been waiting in front of the transportation formation. Yesterday, the supermonastery had sent down word that their new sect leader was coming today. Although Tu Fang felt extremely unwell with that, he was powerless to do anything. He had long since predicted the first monastery would become the battlefield for two stronger powers. In the future, his sect leader title would be over. He was powerless to change the competition between two immense powers. Right now, he could only brace himself and take things step by step. When Long Chen arrived, Little Snow let out a roar from the distance and shot forward, knocking him down and rubbing his head intimately over Long Chen's body. Ao Wu, ha ha ha, Little Snow, I missed you too. Long Chen hugged Little Snow. Little Snow's aura had grown even stronger. However, his body hadn't grown larger. Instead, he had shrunk slightly. Woo woo woo. Little Snow let out a worried growl. Oh, really Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. Little Snow said he would quickly advance. However, he was filled with terror towards this advancement. He sensed something bad would happen. Could it be? Long Chen's expression changed. Don't worry, Little Snow. When you advance, I'll protect you. Little Snow had now mutated and was no longer an ordinary magical beast. Currently, Little Snow's intelligence was shocking. This was Little Snow's first time feeling so anxious, which made Long Chen think of certain legends. In those legends, it was said that mutated magical beasts were not supposed to exist in this world and would all be exterminated by heavenly tribulation. Long Chen had once gone through ancient texts to investigate the legends pertaining to mutated magical beasts. Mutated magical beasts were supposedly terrifyingly strong, and once they matured, their power could theoretically devour the very heavens. However, those mutated magical beasts were all killed by heavenly tribulation first, so they were unable to mature. So of those peak divine beasts that existed in legends, none of them were mutated magical beasts. Mutated magical beasts were like shooting stars within the river of time. They released a dazzling light, but only for a short time. Then they would disappear forever. Am I the same as Little Snow? A mutant? TCH. But I'm not a magical beast. Does my merger with the Pill God Soul count as a spiritual mutation? Could it be because of this spiritual mutation that the heavens want to destroy me? He shivered. Back then, when he had undergone his first tribulation, the spirit world expert had said that all existences that could threaten the heavenly deos were all exterminated by the heavenly deos. Then presumably, if Little Snow could mature, he would be able to threaten the heavenly deos. His future combat ability would definitely be shocking. Long Chen, I heard you were injured yesterday. Tang Wan'er and Men Qi rushed over, deeply concerned with him. The two of them had been in seclusion yesterday and hadn't learned of what had happened. Furthermore, Long Chen had already told everyone not to tell the two of them so they wouldn't worry. However, they had still found out today. I'm fine. It was just a minor injury that's already healed. Long Chen smiled. How can that new assistant monastery head be so shameless to bully even a disciple? Raged Tang Wan'er. Exactly. That's far too shameless. She's even more shameless than me. I'm completely bewildered as to how she managed to become so shameless. Agreed Long Chen. The two women laughed and Men Qi rebuked. Really, it's already this kind of time and you still want to make jokes. Ah, originally I really was a bit depressed about being bullied. But after seeing two beauties show such concern for me. I feel like I'm being blessed by the sunlight after the rain. That comfortable and refreshing feeling simply can't be described. Long Chen laughed. Tang Wan'er and Men Qi blushed. Warm light flowing in their eyes. Beautiful beyond compare. Despite having been with them day and night, Long Chen still felt his heart pounding from looking at that beauty. Thump. 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 Dislikable. Stop misbehaving. Tang Wan'er reddened even more and viciously pinched Long Chen. He was intentionally making his heart pound louder for the two of them to hear. Long Chen, you, are too wicked. Men Qi was as red as an apple, bashful and angry. Long Chen laughed inside. No matter what unpleasant emotion he was feeling inside, just seeing the two of them made him feel much better. To be able to tease beauties every day was an incredibly freeing delight. But then thinking of that group of idiots, his good mood faded. There were always people trying to snatch away his happiness. That gave Long Chen even greater determination to get stronger. He had to grow up faster and trample these idiots to death sooner. At this time, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, and the others also came up to him. He looked over their cultivation bases and saw that they hadn't increased, which was a good thing. Furthermore, they had already tempered 16 bones. 
which was already the peak of ordinary bone tempering. By asking them, he learned they had consumed less than 3,000 bone tempering pills. That made him sigh. He had already stuffed himself with 100,000 bone tempering pills, only to temper 20 bones. His own consumption was equivalent to dozens of them. This nine-star hegemon body truly could consume medicinal pills. Boss, this new sect leader will probably come and target us. What plan do you have against it? Asked Guo Ran. Currently, Zhao Qingyi and the monastery head had already publicly torn off their masks. Their covert struggle had become an open struggle, and Long Chen was the heart of their struggle. That caused them to be nervous. Do you still not understand your boss's methods? You still need to ask such a question, said Long Chen. Guo Ran was startled and delighted. Really? What brilliant plan did you come up with? Quick, tell us. Men Qi and Tang Wan are also perked up their ears. Long Chen was the one who came up with the craziest ideas. He definitely wouldn't just wait while he suffered a loss. None. Long Chen shook his head. What? Boss, now isn't the time for jokes. If you don't have any plan, then once they start targeting us, they'll play us to death, exclaimed Guo Ran. I'm just human, not a god. Before I see my opponent, I can't come up with a plan. This is like playing chess. Don't I still need to know what kind of person my opponent is? Most importantly, it's not just that I don't know who my opponent is, but that I don't even know what game we're playing. Chiss? Go? How can I come up with a strategy like this? But you don't need to be worried. Normally, I teach you not to use schemes to handle things, because in front of absolute power, all schemes are useless. Wasting time on scheming is just wasting your cultivation time. But this time, it won't be the same. In this particular situation, we'll definitely need some smarts to handle our problems. This time, I'll let you learn that while your boss normally uses his fists to resolve problems, that doesn't mean he doesn't have any smarts. I'll let you see how I play them to death with my head. Long Chen clenched his fist confidently. Well, more accurately, you aren't able to beat them with your fists, muttered Guo Ran. Long Chen clapped Guo Ran in the back of his head and cursed. Brat, why do you have to expose me? You're all grown up now and ready to spread your wings? You want to fight with your boss? Everyone laughed, and the tense atmosphere lessened a great deal. Long Chen continued, You don't need to be nervous. Even if they want to target me, they'll still have to do it within the scope of the rules. That's also why I have you all become completely familiar with the rules yesterday. It's to avoid falling into a trap. Today, just act according to my signals. As long as we work together, we'll be fine. With me present. We definitely won't suffer any loss. Right now, the person that intimidated Long Chen the most was Zhao Qingyi. That malicious woman's cultivation base was too high, and so he could only endure for now. But since Xu Wuhan had promised to keep an eye on her, he was much more at ease. The Dragon Blood Legion had only just been formed. Now was the most critical time for them. Each breath's time was extremely precious. He was unable to bring them to seek shelter at Mogate. That wasn't because Mogate wasn't reliable. But because once he left, he would just be sending himself straight into those people's trap. Once he lost the super monastery's protection, then let alone the corrupt path, even those righteous sects would attack him to get revenge for their disciples. Most importantly, there were many people who had placed their sights on his secrets. The primal chaos beat from the secret realm had shaken everyone. It was unknown just how many people's gazes were covertly focused on him right now. It could be said that Long Chen was surrounded by enemies that were like tigers watching their prey. Only with the super monastery's intimidation was it possible to keep them back. But once he left, he would definitely be chased down by countless experts. One option was to ask some experts from Mo Gate to come here. But then having to wait for them to come and then going over there would be very time consuming. And in the end, it wasn't worth it. It was better to temporarily stay and grow within the monastery for now Novaloon.com right now. Long Chen didn't want anyone to learn about the Dragonblood Legion. The outside world only knew that these people were those that he trusted. They had no idea that they were undergoing complete tempering. Within the entire monastery, the only one who saw some clues was Tu Fang. But Tu Fang definitely would not say anything. Long Chen wanted to turn the Dragonblood Legion into the most terrifying army in the world. But right now, they were still only budding and extremely weak. He couldn't allow anyone to place their sights on them or that would be dangerous. So right now, he had ordered each of them to keep the secret from everyone else. What they needed the most right now was time. Let's go. Everyone, get into position. Let's see just what abilities this new sect leader has. Long Chen told Gu Yang, 
Song Mingguan, Li Qi, and Yu Zifeng a few more things to take note of and then had them look after the others. Everyone had only just taken their positions, and Tu Fang had just been about to say something when the transportation formation lit up, and over ten figures appeared in front of them. Chapter 507 Slap Yourself in the Face Translator Born to be Long Chen and the others were surprised to see that 16 figures had appeared at once from the transportation formation. These 16 people were all meridian opening experts, and four of them were currently holding a golden palanquin. That scene caused them to be a bit stunned. What kind of nonsense were they doing? The new sect leader was sitting within the palanquin? That was being a bit too pretentious, wasn't it? Even the monastery head, Shu Wuhan, had always come directly on her own. Furthermore, Cultivators would usually abstain from sitting in palanquins. A palanquin and other similar vehicles inhibited a person's movement. If they were ambushed, they wouldn't even have a chance to run. Now, two meridian opening experts quickly rolled open a red carpet. Only once the carpet was properly laid did they set down the palanquin. The curtain was pushed open, and a man appearing to be in his twenties got out. This man didn't look that bad, with a very fair complexion, but he had an extremely feminine air to him. As soon as this man walked out of the palanquin, he icily looked every everyone. That gaze caused Long Chen and the others to shiver, as that gaze was truly able to make their hair stand on end. Long Chen's vision was extremely sharp, and he immediately saw that there was a thin layer of powder over his face. His eyebrows had been drawn on, and most astonishing of all, he had even drawn red paint over his lips. Damn, Zhao King Gai really gave birth to a peak grade product, thought Long Chen. It wasn't just Long Chen. Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Tang Wan Er, and everyone else were also dumbfounded. They had never imagined that the legendary Zhuanchen Dao sect would send down such a sect leader. HMPH, you don't know how to kneel when seeing the sect leader. That feminine man swung his sleeves, icily snorting at them. Greetings, sect leader. Being dumbfounded by this peak grade sect leader, they had forgotten their manners. They hastily bowed. Oh, you must be Long Chen. As a disciple, you won't kneel when seeing the sect leader, raged the feminine man, but his fury made others feel even odder. He was pointing at Long Chen, but for some reason, his pinky finger was also pointed out. Long Chen took a deep breath, cursing his bad luck inside. How had such a peak grade idiot come here? As the enforcement elder, I don't need to kneel to you, said Long Chen. How brazen Long Chen, to be so rude to the sect leader. Do you believe me when I say I'll slap you in the mouth right now? Before the feminine man could open his mouth, one of the meridian opening experts by his side shouted coldly, taking a posture that would allow him to strike at any moment. A person who dares slap my boss has not yet been born. Who do you think you are? Shut your mouth. Aren't you still hoping for your mouth to give birth to a kid? Guo Ran didn't take that person's insult lying down. He directly pointed at him and cursed. That person became furious and roared at Guo Ran. How could my mouth give birth to a kid? Ah. So you know that that's your mouth. Then how come all that comes out of it is crap? My boss is the enforcement elder. So why would he have to kneel? Are your ears deaf? You can't understand what my boss says. Sneered Guo Ran. You must want to die. That person furiously released a powerful aura that locked down Guo Ran. Guo Ran icily looked back without saying anything. His gaze was filled with disdain. He clearly didn't believe this person dared attack here. Everyone, shut up. At this time. The new sect leader shouted. His voice truly was dignified, but it was sharp, like a duck whose throat was being stepped on. Even his voice caused a chill in people. You're all too brazen. Who do you think I am? Do you not accept me as the new sect leader? Raged that man. Ah, it seems we really don't. Long Chen and the others oddly looked back at this new sect leader. They really didn't have a way to accept this new half-woman man as their sect leader. Long Chen, from today onwards, you are removed from your post. You are now just an ordinary disciple, he said. All right. Long Chen nodded without saying anything else. Why are you removing my boss from his elder position? You have to at least give a reason. Right. Long Chen might not care, but Guo Ran wouldn't let it go. This was absolute bullying. Long Chen's position in their hearts was unsurpassed. For others to remove him from office with just a word was a humiliation. A reason? HMPH. Do I need one? As the sect leader. I have the right to decide the posts of the monastery. I feel that Long Chen is unsuitable. So he's unsuitable. Sneered that man. Peng Zuquan. Starting today, you'll be the first monastery's enforcement elder. He said to the person Guo Ran had previously cursed. Thank you for this favor, sect leader. 
I definitely won't disappoint you, thanked Pen Zuquin. For Pen Zuquin to instantly be elevated to enforcement elder caused all those other meridian opening experts to be filled with envy. As for those on the first monastery's side, they were completely indignant. This was going too far. How could the Grand Enforcement Elder's position just be randomly given away? If this person was narrow-minded, he could intentionally make things hard on anyone. Then wouldn't all of them have all their time wasted by his nonsense? Sect leader, this matter. Tu Fang stood up. This new sect leader was truly going too far. Although Long Chen had told them to act as if nothing was happening, Tu Fang couldn't hold back. Shut up. The sect leader hadn't even needed to say anything when another expert by his side immediately stood up, pointing at Tu Fang and cursing. Who do you think you are to question the sect leader's decisions? Even at your age, you're still just at the peak of meridian opening. Even when you die, you probably won't be able to reach the Xi'anchen realm. A useless fogey like you should just find somewhere to dig a hole for your burial. What are you even doing here? This person's words had only just left his mouth when cold light shined. Every disciple had taken out their weapons now and glared at that person, causing him to jump in fright. What he didn't know was that although Tu Fang's cultivation base wasn't impressive, he was an unquestionably fair and straightforward person. He had won all these disciples' respect. For this person to insult Tu Fang immediately provoked their fury. What? You. You're looking to rebel. That person was startled. For over a thousand people's weapons to be pointed at him caused his nerves to be stretched taut. These people were those who had crawled out of mountains of corpses and seas of blood with Long Chen in the righteous and corrupt battle. Once their killing intent erupted, it could cause heaven and earth to change color. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, as long as you say a single word, we'll immediately cut down this bastard. Cut this bastard down. Kill him. All the first monastery's disciples roared. From this posture, it was impossible to doubt their determination. Tu Fang had also not expected everyone to defend him like this, and he couldn't help being emotional. But now that they were so furious, he found he was unable to control this situation. What do you think you're all doing? The new sect leader finally couldn't hold back from roaring furiously. He hadn't expected the first monastery's people to be so united. Whether it was the disciples or the elders, they were all furiously glaring back at him, their weapons ready to attack at any moment. Long Chen's expression was also dark. Tu Fang and Ling Yunzi were both seniors he greatly respected. His killing intent was also starting to surge. Long Chen ignored the sect leader, and with his killing intent surging out, he said to the bewildered man who had just spoken, Little fellow, I'll give you two choices. Either be turned into mincemeat by our blades, or kneel down and slap yourself in the face until all your teeth are gone. You can choose for yourself, you. That man was both startled and furious. Seeing those people releasing their killing intent, he felt a chill in his heart. Although he was a meridian opening expert, he was still afraid. Long Chen, don't go too far, raged the sect leader. Too far? Did we go as far as you? When Elder Tu Fang was the sect leader, he had both integrity and talent, and was fair and open. He is a senior we all respect. For you to come here and immediately insult our old sect leader is something we can't accept. Well, there's no need to waste too many words. I'll give you to the count of three. Life or death. You choose. Snorted Long Chen. You dare. Long Chen. As the sect leader. Let me see if you dare touch one of us. Raged the sect leader. One. Long Chen didn't even glance at him. Looking at that person as if he was already dead. Long Chen. You. The sect leader's whole body was trembling from rage. Two. Long Chen shouted coldly. Cutting off the sect leader's words. He raised his blood-colored saber and a terrifying killing intent soared into the sky. Following him, all the disciples and elders released their auras, their killing intent shaking the dome of the sky. The sect leader turned ashen with fury. He had never imagined the first monastery was such a cohesive force. Although he was in the Xi'anchen realm and was the appointed sect leader, he was unable to punish these many people. He couldn't make enemies out of all these people, or his later plans would be ruined. They had their own goals in coming here. If they were unable to accomplish their missions, then the consequences would be extremely severe. So although they were furious, they decided to compromise in the end. Sean Bao, you weren't respectful to a senior. Slap yourself in the face 80 times. The sect leader took a deep breath, clenching his teeth, and spat out his orders to the person who had insulted Tu Fang. Chapter 508 Furiously Cursing a Sect Leader Translator Born to be me? Slap myself? But sect leader. The person called Zhang Bao couldn't help being dumbfounded. Previously, 
Pen Zuquin had managed to stand out, becoming the enforcement elder in an instant. However, he had done the same thing as him and ended up being ordered to slap himself in the face. He was bewildered. The sect leader furiously slapped Zhang Bao in the face and shouted, Since you know I'm the sect leader, how dare you talk back? The sect leader was also holding back a stomach full of fire. Long Chen was forcing Zhang Bao to slap himself in the face, causing him to also lower his head. That was equivalent to a slap in his face as well. In the current situation, he couldn't use martial strength to subdue everyone. He could only place this grievance on Zhang Bao, but Zhang Bao hadn't realized that, causing him to find a target to release his stomach full of fire. Zhang Bao became dizzy from being hit, but seeing the sect leader's gloomy expression, he finally knelt on the ground. He began to slap himself in the face. Hearing those resounding slaps, the sect leader and the others were all filled with fury. However, the monastery's disciples were all incredibly refreshed. The sect leader and the others had already infuriated them with how unreasonable they were. Now, this was truly too relaxing. The final slap rang out and Zhang Bao stood up. His gaze was filled with hatred as he looked at Long Chen and Tu Fang. It was obvious he was cursing inside. Are you deaf? I said to slap yourself until all your teeth were gone. Not that you could just randomly slap yourself a few times, said Long Chen. That's enough. Long Chen, don't go too far, shouted the sect leader. He truly was furious now. He had already lowered his head to get Zhang Bao to slap himself in the face. But Long Chen still refused to let it go with just that. Brothers, kill. Long Chen was too lazy to waste words with him. He was the first to charge at Zhang Bao. Following him, all the disciples' blood boiled, and they seemed to return to their memories when they fought shoulder to shoulder with him. With a roar, they all charged. Stop. The sect leader shouted, his Xi'anchen power surging out, causing the world to freeze. A terrifying pressure fell on all of them. The disciples involuntarily stopped, feeling as if a wall had blocked their path. A terrifying pressure was crashing on their bodies, causing them to turn pale. Only Long Chen's expression didn't change. He icily stared at the sect leader. Zhang Bao's mouth was too rude, and he must pay the price. Right now, I'll give you three choices. One. Let Zhang Bao slap out all his teeth. 2. Let us kill him. 3. You can kill us all. The sect leader glared at Long Chen, wanting to kill him, but he couldn't. He truly only had those three options, but he absolutely could not choose the third one. If he did, he and his mother would be killed. Furthermore, the Zhao family would once more receive a ruthless blow. As for the second choice, that was also unacceptable. If Zhang Bao died, his other followers would be disillusioned. And what about his own prestige? How would he even be a sect leader? Zhang Bao, do as he says. Sect leader. The sect leader once more gave him a slap in the face. He had an urge to slap this idiot to death. This bastard still hadn't realized what was going on. The more he hesitated, the more face he would lose. Slap yourself in the face. He ordered. Under the sect leader's harsh orders, the familiar sound of slapping once more rang out. However, this time, the sound was much more intense. After Zhang Bao finished playing the music of his face, bubbles of blood foamed out of his mouth. All his teeth had fallen out now. In truth, having one's teeth be knocked out was nothing to a meridian opening expert. Using medicines, they would quickly recover, growing new teeth. However, compared to the physical body's pain, the pain of the mind was much worse. Capable of driving a person insane, Zhang Bao pointed at Long Chen. Just wait, Long Chen. However, without his teeth. His words were very unclear. Only after a couple breaths did people realize what he was saying. Long Chen didn't look at him, putting away his saber. He smiled as if nothing had happened. Sect leader's noble character and unquestionable integrity, especially his ability to be impartial, is admirable. The sect leader felt as if his lungs might burst. After finishing beating Zhang Bao's face, he had begun slapping his face. His ability to be impartial was an incredibly loud slap. He took a deep breath to calm himself down before saying, Let me introduce myself. I am Zhao Kifeng. I come from the Zhuanshan Dao sect starting today. I will be your new sect leader. This was Zhao Qingyi's son. While Zhao Kifeng's father had been an expert that had married into the Zhao family, those who could marry into the Zhao family were all top geniuses. For the sake of their future progeny, the women of the Zhao family would only marry experts. But Long Chen and the others wondered just what happened between Zhao Kifeng's mother and father. Could it be that they ended up making some mistakes when researching how to have their next generation? They had actually ended up giving birth to an oddity like Zhao Kifeng. 
His cultivation talent was extremely ordinary, and his bearing was extremely odd. He was also extremely misophobic, a neat freak. When he walked, he couldn't let his feet be touched by mud, and when he sat, he couldn't let his clothes be touched by dust. Those meridian opening experts were his nannies in charge of his clothes, food, housing, and transport. Now that he had taken office, they had all come with him. These meridian opening experts were all just a bunch of random workers within the Zuanshan Dao sect but here, they had become the top experts, so naturally their egos had swelled. Long Chen, previously I hadn't introduced myself and you had your elder status, so you didn't need to kneel to me, but now, you should know what to do. Zhao Kifen looked at Long Chen icily, Guo Ran and the other's expressions changed. How insidious, how despicable. He was forcing Long Chen to kneel to him as humiliation. But Long Chen sneered. He cupped his hands and loudly said, Greetings, sect leaders Zhao, how brazen. As a disciple, how dare you not kowtow, raged Zhao Kifeng. Sect leader, don't be so angry. If you ended up dying from rage, that really would be unfortunate. There are two reasons why I don't need to kowtow. First, my cultivation base has reached the bone forging realm, and according to the monastery's rules, there's no need for me to kneel when seeing the sect leader. If I want to kneel, that would be depending on the sect leader's character and morality. If it was someone like sect leader Tu Fang or sect leader Ling Yunzi, people of virtue and prestige, then I definitely would kowtow to them. But as for you, he, to tell the truth, you have no character and have no morals. Ah, so sorry, sometimes I say too much. Second, according to the monastery's rules, disciples only need to kowtow to the sect leader during the ancestral ceremony to express their gratefulness at being transmitted their master's favor. Today is not the day of the ceremony, said Long Chen. You, even so, you should bow at least. Otherwise, how would you differentiate between seniors and juniors? Shouted Cao Kifeng. Cough. Originally, I should have bowed. However, I'm injured, and I can't bend my waist. Please forgive me, sect leader, said Long Chen apologetically. What nonsense. You're completely healthy. You're clearly trying to evade. It seems I'll need to punish your disrespect, raged Cao Kifeng. Don't be in such a hurry to punish people. I truly am injured. Everyone present can testify that yesterday, there was some old BTCH that must have taken the wrong drugs, but she ended up coming here, acting like some unfilial daughter beating her father, attacking me. As a result, my residence was raised, and I ended up coughing up blood. Later, the monastery head had to come here to expel that old BTCH. If you don't believe me, you can ask any one of us. I definitely didn't say any lies, you bastard. That person was my mother. You dare be disrespectful to the assistant monastery head. Zhao Kifeng's killing intent surged out. Oh, that old bee cough. So she was your mother. I really had no idea. So sorry. Long Chen awkwardly coughed a few times, suddenly grumbling. I really had no idea that person was your mother. However, your mother really was heavy-handed. She beat me until my bones broke. Was it worth it for her to do such a thing to me? A bone-forging disciple? I suppose you haven't seen your mother when she goes crazy. But yesterday, it was like she has gone mad. I really can't understand why she would come here to beat me. It's not like I'm your father. Tu Fang's face twitched. Wasn't this openly cursing someone? Men Qi and Tang Wan Er were covering their mouths. Seeing how black Cao Kifeng's face was, they were afraid they might end up laughing. On the other hand, Guo Ran praised inside. Boss really is boss. His cursing ability has practically reached the realm of perfection. He can curse someone in the face but make it so they can't display their anger. Zhao Kifen was unable to find any way to retort. As long as Long Chen said he had no idea who that woman had been, he couldn't say anything. More importantly, he wouldn't be able to make Long Chen kneel now. If Zhao Kifen tried, Long Chen would just say he was injured. If he doubted him, he could call over his mother to ask her. Fine, you're injured. But what about the others? They also haven't knelt. Raged Zhao Kifeng. Sect leader, have you forgotten? Just how powerful is your mother's cultivation base? Back then, everyone here was struck by your mother's bastard key and injured. I hope sect leader can forgive us. Long Chen smiled apologetically. Zhao Kifeng clenched his teeth so hard they creaked. Even the distant people were able to hear it. Perhaps he wasn't very happy. Originally, he had come here to display his prestige and completely suppress the first monastery. Then, later, he would proceed with the rest of the plan. But now... He hadn't managed to suppress the first monastery, 
but he had instead been forced to lower his head. All his prestige had been lost. That made him incredibly depressed. This was completely different from his plans. Zhao Kifeng hastily gave Peng Zuquan a glance, and he immediately understood. Taking a few steps forward, Peng Zuquan icily looked at everyone, a sinister smiling appearing on his face. Chapter 509 Breaking Stones on Abdomen's Translator Born to be your constitutions are too weak, and within the same level, you're unable to compare to the other monastery's disciples. One is in the heavens while one is still on the ground. So starting today, we'll be undergoing drilling to strengthen your constitutions and physiques, shouted Peng Zuquan. Those who followed Zhao Kifeng were all very sturdy men, and Peng Zuquan was the one with the strongest physique. But what was different from ordinary experts was that Peng Zuquan had grown extremely unevenly. His build was like a butcher's, and it was lacking the aesthetic of well-built men. As soon as he said this, Long Chen and the others understood this idiot was beginning to play his tricks. As expected, he continued, within the other monasteries, the disciples' physiques are at least twice as strong as yours. Furthermore, your disciples of the first monastery, if your physiques are too weak, how will you compete with the other monastery disciples? Do you want to be laughed at by others? After saying it, he saw that Long Chen and the others were just expressionlessly looking at him, as if they were just watching a monkey put on a show. He was startled. This situation seemed to be a bit different than the situation he had expected. He had been hoping for everyone to become impassioned. Only then could he start with the next step. However, he thickened his skin and took out a stone slab. It was a square, two-foot slab that was half a foot thick. Peng Zuquan continued, Starting today, if you want to obtain the monastery's rewards, you must reach the standards of the stone-crushing abdomen test. Otherwise, you'll be cut off. After saying this, he saw that Long Chen and the others were still expressionlessly looking at him, provoking his fury. Fuck, is there no one who wants to try it? You want to be cut off. According to his plan, at this time, there should be countless hot-blooded disciples trying to challenge the stone-crushing test, but for them to just stare at him icily, he felt he was being played. You, get out here. If you pass, you'll continue getting your rewards. Otherwise, you'll be cut off until you do pass. And if you can't pass after three tries, you'll be expelled from the monastery. Peng Zuquan pointed towards Yu Zifeng. Long Chen's eyes narrowed slightly. This bastard truly knew how to pick people. Yu Zifeng had the weakest physical body of them because he was a sword cultivator, not a body cultivator. However, Long Chen wasn't worried about him. Even if his physique was weaker than them, he had already reached the Ten Temper Realm, and his body was much stronger than average bone forging experts. Yu Zifeng walked up and icily looked at Peng Zuquan. What do you want me to do? His gaze was extremely irritating to Peng Zuquan, and he said, Lie on the ground and I will place the slab on your abdomen. Then, using the sledgehammer, I will smash it. If it breaks and you don't suffer any injury, your physical body will have reached the standard. You don't need to doubt this. This slab has the specific marking of the Zhuanshan Dao sect and is specifically used to test the strength of its disciples' physical bodies. There's no way to fake it. Flipping over the slab, he revealed an extremely special mark at the center of it. If Long Chen hadn't met Yu Ziaokian, he might not be able to recognize it. But after she had helped him translate the ethereal crafting secret record, he could read that character. That was the Zuan immortal character. Perhaps of everyone present, only Long Chen could recognize it, as that was a rune that appeared in the ethereal crafting secret record. From that appearance, it seemed it really wasn't fake. Could it be that they hadn't done anything to it? Did they really think everyone would fail to pass this simple test? Although he didn't know how strong the disciples from the other super monasteries were, he was sure that even if their monastery's disciples were strong, they definitely wouldn't be stronger than them. Long Chen had already had everyone undergo complete tempering. The strength of their Ten Temper Realm was far stronger than other disciples' Ten Temper Realm. Passing this test would be absolutely no problem. Yu Zifeng lay on the ground. But what made Yu Zifeng frown slightly was that this stone slab might not be that large, but it was extremely heavy. It had to be over 10,000 pounds. Prepare yourself. A large sledgehammer appeared in Peng Zuquan's hands, and he ruthlessly smashed it down onto the slab. The slab instantly shattered. Beneath the slab, Yu Zifeng coughed up a mouthful of blood, causing everyone to let out started cries. He had actually been injured. HMPH, you don't meet the standards, sneered Peng Zuquan. He disdainfully said, starting today, you are cut off from your monastery rewards. You'll only get them once you manage to pass. 
Yu Zifeng wiped off his blood, an icy light shining in his eyes, seeming like two sharp blades stabbing into Pen Zuquan's eyes. The latter felt pain in his eyes, and he involuntarily took a step back. After glancing at Pen Zuquan, Yu Zifeng didn't say anything and returned to Long Chen's side, but everyone could see the killing intent in his eyes. Long Chen's expression became a bit gloomy. The stone slab was definitely fine. Yu Zifeng was also not the problem. The problem lay in the person smashing the sledgehammer. That bastard had intentionally injured Yu Zifeng. Others might not be able to see through the clues, as his movements really hadn't had anything suspicious to them. But that was the most despicable part. Their actions could not possibly escape the senses of Long Chen's powerful spiritual strength. Other than Yu Zifeng, he was the only one who knew this bastard had used a sinister trick. In truth, if Yu Zifeng had used his full power to defend, he wouldn't have been injured. Or even if he was injured, he definitely wouldn't cough up blood. Long Chen had already warned Yu Zifeng and the others not to reveal their full strength. At any time, they were only to reveal the power of the Four Temper Realm. That was why Yu Zifeng had held back and thus been injured. That made Yu Zifeng extremely furious, and he had an urge to immediately unsheath his sword and cut down this bastard. But now wasn't the time. Truly useless. You can be the next one. Pen Zuquan icily pointed toward a person behind Long Chen, but his actions caused an icy light to shine in Long Chen's eyes. He was actually pointing at Tang Wan Er. To make a woman place a stone slab on the abdomen was already a humiliation. Long Chen suddenly smiled and said, Elder Peng, right? There's one thing I don't understand. Are you sure this slab is used for testing the physiques of bone-forging disciples? But of course, what? Do you doubt us? Raged Peng Zuquan. I truly do doubt you. I suspect this stone slab's hardness has already surpassed the limits of what the bone-forging realm should be able to endure. In fact, I believe that even you meridian opening experts would not be able to handle it, said Long Chen icily. What nonsense. This is just because you're all too weak. This is specifically the slab used for testing bone forging disciples, said Peng Zuquan. However, he couldn't help feeling a bit guilty. It was true this slab was used for testing bone forging disciples. However, it was the one used for bone forging disciples who were about to advance to meridian opening. Before smashing the slab, he had lightly tapped it with his sledgehammer a few times. In truth, he had been testing out how strong Yu Zifeng's body was. He was startled to find that Yu Zifeng's body was even comparable to eight temper bone forging experts, and so he had to stealthily use a trick. That's bullshit. I know just how strong my brother's body is. You definitely secretly switched out the slabs to trick us. How about we let one of you test it out for us as proof? Raged Long Chen. HMPH. Fine. Originally, Peng Zuquan had been worried about having his scheme seen through. But seeing Long Chen wanted one of his own people to test it, he was delighted inside. Once he used one of his own people to test it, that would prove there was no problem, and he could openly trick them. Gu Fang, you come over and show them. This thing is as weak as tofu. Only good for nothings would be injured. Peng Zuquan beckoned to another meridian opening expert. Although they were in the early meridian opening realm, the meridian opening was the last of the Haoshan realms, and they had already started on the way of the Xianchen realm. Their physical bodies were much stronger. These stone slabs were truly like tofu to them. Gu Feng walked over, sneering at Long Chen. Brat, look closely. In our eyes, these terrifying slabs are just trash. He lay down and placed a stone slab on his abdomen. But from how easily he placed it, it was as if he was lifting a pillow. That startled all the disciples. Although they were extremely disgusted with these fellows, they had no choice but to admit they were truly powerful. Brat, look closely. I'll use twice as much strength to smash it so you can accept it wholeheartedly, sneered Peng Zuquan. He raised the sledgehammer. Wait a moment. Long Chen suddenly thought of something and cried out. Peng Zuquan jumped in surprise, and he hastily put down the sledgehammer. He almost ended up hitting his own head with it. What do you want? He raged. Who knows whether or not you two are colluding. You might act like you're using a great deal of power, but just be tapping it. Then wouldn't we be scammed, said Long Chen. Why would we scam a bunch of weak bone forging disciples? Raged Peng Zuquan. What do you think? Long Chen icily looked back at him. Peng Zuquan shifted guiltily. Long Chen's gaze seemed to pierce through to the bottom of his heart, exposing all his secrets. Then, what do you want to do? He asked. Let me do it, said Long Chen. You. Yes, me. I can represent all our monastery's disciples. If this stone slab truly has no problem, 
Then each one of us will accept your test without the slightest complaint, said Long Chen. His words made Peng Zuquan's hearts burst with joy. There was nothing better than this to them. All right, here you go. Long Chen received the sledgehammer. The hammer's head was the size of a plate and extremely heavy, at least a hundred thousand pounds. Long Chen tested it out on the slab, hesitating for a long time with a nervous expression. Can you smash it or not? Beneath the slab, Gu Feng rushed him impatiently. I'm a bit nervous, said Long Chen. What are you nervous about? I'm afraid of missing. Fuck, how could you miss such a large target? You must be an idiot. Hurry up, if there's a problem, I'll take responsibility for it, rushed Gu Feng. Long Chen's eyes brightened, and without saying another word, the sledgehammer in his hands began to whistle as it smashed down. A-H-H. A miserable scream resounded throughout the entire monastery. Chapter 510 Smashing a Sledgehammer on the Crotch Translator Born to be a miserable scream resounded throughout the entire monastery. That heart-rending shriek was like needles stabbing into people's ears. Everyone saw that Long Chen had smashed the sledgehammer right between Gu Feng's legs. Long Chen's immense power had directly caused his crotch to sink in. Seeing this shocking scene with their eyes, hearing that heart-rending cry with their ears, all the men involuntarily trembled, pressing their legs together. They felt an icy chill at a certain part of their bodies. It's definitely broken. Many of the men had the same thought. As men, they all felt sympathy. At the same time, they clamped their legs together, trying not to distress their own crotches. A-H-H-H. Gu Feng was clenching his crotch, rolling on the ground back and forth, his veins bulging. Even his eyes looked like they might pop out. How dare you Long Chen? You did that on purpose. Zhao Kifeng finally couldn't hold back and cursed at Long Chen. No, no, it wasn't at all on purpose. I was just too nervous. Long Chen spread his arms innocently. However, he had forgotten that he was holding a sledgehammer. Spreading his arms, the sledgehammer dropped to the ground. Who knew whether or not it was a coincidence. But the sledgehammer just happened to once more smash onto Gu Feng's crotch. The muffled bang that came from that caused everyone to twitch. Gu Feng curled up like a shrimp, and then his eyes rolled into his head and he fainted. In an instant, his mournful shriek ended. The world returned to silence. The monastery disciples were oddly looking at Gu Feng, not saying a single word. Only Gu Ran had a worshipful expression, his eyes like two shining stars. If the circumstances weren't inappropriate, he might have immediately knelt down and begged Long Chen to take him as a disciple. His conning arts had reached the realm where even ghosts and gods would be shocked. Perhaps only Long Chen had such abilities. Aya, so sorry. I just wanted to demonstrate my innocence. Long Chen, who seemed to have never expected the situation to reach this point, apologized extremely awkwardly. Long Chen, today you intentionally used a sinister scheme to injure others. Today, I'll Zhao Kifeng shouted, just about to punish Long Chen. Wait a moment, don't mislabel others. I said I was nervous. It wasn't intentional. Long Chen waved his hand. What nonsense. It was clearly intentional. Raged Peng Zuquan. Really? What part of it was intentional? Don't slander others. In the beginning, I was too nervous and didn't smash the hammer. All because I was afraid I would miss. But this fellow encouraged me. Practically forcing me. Which is the only reason I finally smashed it down. Previously, he clearly said that if there were any problems, it would be his responsibility. Everyone here heard that. Are you deaf? If you didn't hear it, then go ask your sect leader if he heard it. You can also ask each and every disciple and elder if they heard it, said Long Chen disdainfully. Zhao Kifeng and the others clenched their teeth furiously. This Long Chen was too wicked to intentionally bait Gu Feng into saying such a thing. Now, he wouldn't have to bear any of the responsibility. Gu Feng had suffered for nothing. I feel like the test should just end here today. Sect leader came from so far. He should rest for a few days. Let's scatter. Long Chen laughed at the gloomy-faced Cao Kifeng. That smash of the hammer had truly been addicting. No matter what realm you reached, as long as you were a man, that place was always a vital point. The place of the lifeline could not be isolated from pain. Even a meridian opening expert was in enough pain as to die. Long Chen's sneering made Cao Kifeng and the others feel like they might explode from rage. But they were powerless to do anything to him. If they ended things like this, then they wouldn't have established their prestige. Instead, they would have lost all their face. No, this test is not a game. This is for us to get a clear understanding of the disciples' power. Those who do well will get better resources, while the trash shouldn't waste any of our resources. The earlier we set up our foundation, the more beneficial it will be in the long run. 
We won't end just because of a small mishap. Peng Zuquan saw Cao Kifan give him a special gaze, and he hurriedly opened his mouth. The earlier we set up our foundation, the more beneficial it will be in the long run? Long Chen really was impressed. They really were shameless enough. They could even utter such pompous reasoning for their schemes. A touch of ridicule appeared in Long Chen's eyes as he said, Then you want the test to continue right now. Of course, we have to continue. Since you suspect something's wrong with the stone slab, then I'll let you test it on me this time. Then, Peng Zuquan added, Last time, you might have managed to pull off a little trick, but let me see what you dare try this time. If you dare try it again, the sect leader will definitely cut off your head. Peng Zuquan lay on the ground, placing the stone slab on his chest. Go ahead. Go as hard as you like. Fuck off. Can you not say something so disgusting? I don't have that kind of interest in men. Cursed Long Chen. Everyone looked oddly at Peng Zuquan, who was lying on the ground. That posture, it truly could be misconstrued. You, shut up and smash it. Peng Zuquan turned purple and roared furiously. Only then did Long Chen raise the sledgehammer. He took aim on the slab, testing it out several times with a nervous expression. I'm nervous again. Peng Zuquan turned green and he crossed his legs tightly, afraid Long Chen would also smash his crotch. Although that wouldn't kill him, that kind of pain was something men could not endure. Looking at Long Chen's wicked gaze, it seemed he was thinking of once more doing something sinister. Long Chen, don't vainly think about using the same trick twice. If you intentionally miss again, I'll immediately have you killed, shouted Cao Kifeng. Only then did Peng Zuquan relax. He sneered, brat, now you can't run. Once this is finished, you'll have to be more well behaved. His voice was extremely quiet so only Long Chen could hear. It was an obvious threat. Was this worth the trouble? Long Chen shook his head helplessly. Shut up and swing the hammer, shouted Cao Kifeng. Long Chen smashed the hammer down, but all that happened was the stone slab shook ever so slightly. Everyone was puzzled. Smash after smash went down, but his blows were so weak. All that happened was some loud banging. The stone slab wasn't damaged at all. Long Chen, are you playing the drums? Zhao Kifen raged. Long Chen was just lightly tapping the slab. If he continued like that, not even a year would be enough to break the slab. He was clearly stalling for time. Isn't this because I'm nervous? This way, if I miss, at least I won't injure anyone, said Long Chen. You, what nonsense. This is a test, not a game. If you can't destroy the slab, I will punish you for neglecting your duty, roared Zhao Kifeng. I'm no longer the enforcement elder, so how could I neglect my duties, said Long Chen disdainfully. Even when he tried to accuse him, it seemed he still didn't have a brain. You, even if you're not the enforcement elder, you are still a disciple. I use my status as sect leader to order you to smash apart that slab. Otherwise, I will punish you severely, quibbled Cao Kifeng. Although he was twisting the logic, it was at least slightly reasonable. If someone didn't listen to the sect leader's orders, there really was a need to punish them. All right then, prepare yourself. Don't get killed as soon as I smash it down. Otherwise, your father would have worked so hard for nothing all those years, said Long Chen, hesitating. Hurry up, roared Peng Zuquan. If Long Chen didn't hurry up, he was afraid he might die from rage. Long Chen spat on his hands, rubbing them like astonomous and about to get to work. Are you prepared? He asked again. I'm prepared. Peng Zuquan was practically roaring. He had an urge to throttle Long Chen. This posture was extremely embarrassing for him to stay in. All right then. The instant he said that, the sledgehammer in his hand ruthlessly smashed down. Bang Noveloon.com The ground rocked intensely, but everyone was startled to see that the slab hadn't even cracked. As for the one beneath the slab, his face went from red to white, and then white to purple, his eyes bulging. Shockingly, the stone slab hadn't broken, but Peng Zuquan, a meridian opening expert, Vomited a mouthful of blood. Long Chen had condensed his power so that it wouldn't scatter, and when he had struck the stone slab, the force had gone straight through the stone slab to strike Peng Zuquan. As a result, the stone slab hadn't broken, but Peng Zuquan wildly vomited blood. Originally, breaking stones over abdomens, using heads to break bricks, and similar tricks were just circus acts found amongst the secular world's commoners. In truth, those performers weren't powerful cultivators. They were just ordinary people. However, ordinary people wouldn't be able to endure that kind of powerful force. According to reason, they should be injured. However, those performers always managed to break the stones without the slightest injury, causing people to click their tongues in wonder. In truth, 
There was a certain trick to it. The trick didn't lay in the person lying on the ground nor did it lay in the stone. Instead, it was in the hand of the smasher. As long as the person using the hammer controlled his her strength properly, scattering the power when the hammer hit the slab, the slab would break apart, while the person at the bottom would receive extremely little force. Those performers would often use children to lay under the stones in order to impassion the crowd. Then they might earn a bit more money. But the people smashing the hammer were always old masters who had trained in doing this for many years. Otherwise, there really was a danger of smashing someone to death. As for Long Chen, he was doing the opposite. He sent the force directly through the slab so that the person below would endure it all. Previously, that was also why Yu Zifeng had been injured. Long Chen's cultivation base might not be high, but his control over his power had reached the point of perfection, and his control was at least a hundred times better than Peng Zuquan. Peng Zuquan had used this trick to injure Yu Zifeng. Now, the wheel had turned. Long Chen's control was even more exquisite, and he used even greater strength. Even a meridian opening expert was unable to endure it. Everyone was still shocked by how Peng Zuquan had vomited blood when Long Chen ruthlessly swung the hammer a second time. Chapter 511 A Human Fountain Translator Born to be Bang The sledgehammer smashed onto the stone slab. The slab trembled, but it still didn't break. Peng Zuquan once more vomited a mouthful of blood. Long Chen was too strong, and the force that transmitted through the slab shook his inner organs. He was both startled and furious, not understanding how a bone-forging brat could possess such immense power. Furthermore, his strength was controlled exquisitely. Over 90% of his force transmitted straight through the slab to strike him. Even he was only able to allow 20% of his power to transmit through the stone slab. The majority of his force would be absorbed by the slab. Eh? This tortoise shell really is hard. Elder Pang, please endure it. I will definitely smash apart your tortoise shell and save you. Not waiting for Peng Zuquan to reply, Long Chen raised the sledgehammer and once more ruthlessly smashed it down. Bang. PFFT. Bang. Bang. PFFT. PFFT. Bang. 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 PFFT. 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 Each time he smashed the sledgehammer down, it would be accompanied by a loud bang. Then Peng Zuquan would vomit a mouthful of blood. Furthermore, each time, the blood would spurt out of his mouth and reach the exact same height of just over 3 meters. After reaching their peak, the droplets of blood splashed down to the ground, appearing strangely beautiful. What's going on? Is he a fountain? He seems like a fountain. A human fountain. What a rhythmic fountain. It's too mystical. Each time, the angle, the arc, the strength, everything is the same. Even the range of his blood spatters are identical. Just how did he manage to do this? Peng Zuquan's amazing blood-spurting divine ability immediately stunned everyone. When the monastery disciples saw this divine sight, they couldn't help feeling a trace of admiration for Peng Zuquan. He truly was worthy of being a meridian opening expert. Even the scene of him vomiting blood was so magnificent. I understand. Wow. Peng Zuquan's parents really were amazing. Why would you say that? Because his parents would predict the future. What? Think about it. Peng Zuquan. Pen. Zhu. Quan. 1. He's exactly suited for spurting blood. 2. Look. His blood spurting divine ability practically makes him into a human blood spurting fountain. Amazing. Truly amazing. A true genius had arisen within the monastery now. This explanation truly was too wonderful. Stop. Zhao Kifeng finally recovered from the shock of watching Pen Zuquan vomit blood. I can't. If I don't smash apart this stone, I'll end up being gravely punished. Unfortunately, I have no choice. Bang, bang, bang. Long Chen went all out smashing the stone slab, appearing like he wouldn't stop until the stone slab was smashed to bits. Peng Zuquan was so terrified, his soul almost fled from his body. He wanted to get away, but now it was too late. He had already received continuous attacks. His body had been gravely injured, and his spiritual key had been scattered. He was powerless to resist. Save PFFT. Before Peng Zuquan could ask to be saved, he once more vomited a mouthful of blood. Uncle? Not even saying father would help you. 3. Weren't you acting very badass just now? You want to secretly injure my brother? Was that very addicting for you? Boom. Peng Zuquan let out a miserable cry and vomited another mouthful of blood. This time, Long Chen had used an even greater force, and he was unable to bear it. As for the stone slab, it cracked from his force, startling Long Chen. Just now, he hadn't controlled his power well enough, shortening the lifespan of the slab. Oh, big brother, 
Hang on. Your day of salvation is coming soon. This stone slab is just about to break. Long Chen cried out with delight, and once more smashed down the sledgehammer. Boom. The ground shook intensely. A large crater formed on the stone ground. Peng Zuquan was smashed into the ground, and the stone slab finally reached the end of its lifespan and broke apart. Long Chen. Zhao Kifan roared furiously, glaring at Long Chen. He looked like he wished to bite Long Chen to death. Sect leader, why are you looking at me like that? Long Chen asked curiously. The disciples' expressions turned odd, looking at Peng Zuquan, who almost looked to be on his final breaths. They wondered, did he really have to ask? You ended up smashing one of his subordinates almost into a flat painting. If they had nails, they could directly hang him on a wall. That was a vicious slap in his face. And yet you still have to ask why he would look at you like that? Zhao Kifan was fuming, wishing to immediately kill Long Chen. But Long Chen had been too sly, and there was no opportunity for him to do so. Long Chen had purposely angered him, making him say that if he didn't smash apart the stone slab, he would be gravely punished. As a result, he had ended up giving Long Chen an honorable reason for his actions. If he had smashed Peng Zuquan to death, then Zhao Kifan would still be able to punish Long Chen for negligence. However, he had left Peng Zuquan just barely alive. Peng Zuquan's current appearance was extremely frightening. But in truth, his vitals hadn't been seriously injured. That had been done intentionally by Long Chen. That made Cao Kifeng furious and surprised. His mother had told him about Long Chen, saying he wasn't a pushover and that he had to be careful. But when he had then learned that Long Chen was merely a brat who had just turned 17 years old, his mother's words ended up being ignored. He had thought that with his strength, he could arbitrarily manipulate Long Chen as easily as turning a hand. Now he realized what it felt like to be manipulated by Long Chen. He was like a loach in the mud, completely uncatchable. He hadn't given Cao Kifeng any opportunity to punish him. Two meridian opening experts pulled Peng Zuquan out of the ground. Currently, Peng Zuquan didn't even look human anymore. Sect leader, you have to get justice for me and kill that bastard Long Chen, begged Peng Zuquan tearfully. PFFT. Suddenly. Blood splashed. A sword flew over and directly pierced Peng Zuquan's chest, startling everyone. Most shocking of all was that the owner of that sword was Cao Kifeng. Killing intent surged on his face, and he raged. You bastard. How dare you take advantage of my trust to play such despicable schemes against my disciples. You're unworthy of my patronage. Peng Zuquan was startled and then furious. He instantly realized that Cao Kifeng was planning on using his death to reverse the tables of this match. The stone slab had clearly been completely fine, and he had only acted as Cao Kifeng had told him to. But Long Chen had ruined Cao Kifeng's plan, causing him to lose all his prestige and placing him on the spot. Unable to kill Long Chen, Cao Kifeng was using Peng Zuquan's execution to display his prestige. He would use his death to warn them all that he was the sect leader. You, you little slut. Yesterday in bed PFFT, a powerful force erupted and Xianchen power blew Peng Zuquan into a rain of blood, cutting off his words. Zhao Kifeng's followers were spattered with blood because they had been the closest. Only Long Chen had seemingly long since been prepared, and when Zhao Kifeng had increased his power, he had unhurriedly taken out an umbrella from his spatial ring. The exact moment when the rain of blood erupted, he opened the umbrella in front of him. There wasn't a speck of blood on him. Long Chen threw the umbrella to the side, his expression disdainful. After Cao Kifeng lost his face, he had actually killed his own subordinate in an attempt to display his prestige. Was that the style of these high cadre disciples? However, it went without saying that Cao Kifeng's actions were truly shocking. No one had imagined he would be ruthless enough to kill a meridian opening expert. Within the first monastery, the only meridian opening expert had been Tu Fang. But now, a meridian opening expert had been killed right in front of them. However, Long Chen felt it was a bit odd. Before Peng Zuquan had died, he had cursed Cao Kifeng as being a slut, as well as something about a bed. Peng Zuquan was a two-faced man, taking advantage of my trust to switch out the stone slabs, disappointing me. This matter will end here. I'm weary from travel and need to rest. You can all scatter. After Cao Kifeng said this, someone went to gather Peng Zuquan's corpse, while two others hastily ran forward to set down more of the red carpet. Zhao Kifeng had to have this red carpet wherever he walked, as he refused to get dust on his feet. The red carpet continued all the way to the sect leader's cultivation location. Everyone was dumbfounded by the sight of the red carpet stretching into the distance. This is a bit too pretentious, don't you think? Guo Ran spat on the carpet, 
This carpet was created from the pelts of magical beasts. If it was in the secular world, only a monarch's residence would have such a luxurious commodity. But to Zhao Kifeng, that luxurious carpet was a one-use item. That was truly wasteful. He's so feminine. He's almost a woman. He also seems to have very severe misophobia. His clothes are all exceedingly clean, without a single wrinkle or loose thread. Furthermore, he can't even be touched by dust, said Men Qi. I've never seen a guy with painted lips, drawn on eyebrows, and so much white powder on his face, and even his voice is like that. I think I have goosebumps, said Tang Wan'er. He, our new sect leader really is peak grade. Didn't that Peng Zuquan mention the bed? He, laughed Guo Ran. What about the bed? asked Tang Wan'er. Guo Ran meant that this half-man, half-woman is an extreme neat freak, and so he probably is always in his room, lying on his bed to avoid getting dust on himself. Long Chen glared at Guo Ran before explaining, it was best for pure fairies like Tang Wan'er and Men Qi to not learn about this matter. All right, everyone can scatter. Remember the monastery rules and pay attention to your conduct. Don't let anyone find any evidence of any wrongdoing, or we'll be the ones to lose out. Now, the situation is extremely clear. They've come here to nitpick everything we do. Although their main target might be me, they won't let you guys off either. Be careful, said Long Chen. Everyone returned to their residences, their moods slightly grave. Peng Zuquan's death had cast a shadow over their hearts. While their moods might be a bit heavy, Zhao Kifeng's mood was even heavier. When he arrived at his new residence, he directly smashed apart all the decorations in his room. Long Chen, just wait. I'll definitely make you live a life worse than death. Killing intent surfaced from Zhao Kifeng's eyes. Chapter 512 Countering Every Move Translator Born to be originally Long Chen had thought that the first day's results would make Cao Kifeng tranquil for at least a few days, but Cao Kifeng began to make things hard the very next day. However, this time, Cao Kifeng didn't come out personally. Instead, he sent out two meridian opening experts whom he had appointed as elders. Those two were given the title of training elder. On the second day, they called out all the disciples, including Long Chen, and began to undergo training. The goal of this training was to strengthen everyone's physiques. Only with a powerful physique could you cultivate stronger cultivation techniques and battle skills noveloon.com it sounded good, but when the disciples saw what they were drilling, they almost coughed up blood. They were doing martial sequences such as the horse stance, the frog jump, etc. Those movements were extremely commonly seen in the secular world, but in the cultivation world, no one would train in those, as they were essentially useless. When people raised their doubts about this, the training elders had replied that the foundation was the most important thing, and so they needed to see what kind of foundation they currently had. What made them the most speechless was that the training elders made it incredibly difficult, nitpicking every small detail. If they didn't do it perfectly, they would be directly kicked out and cursed. The disciples quickly realized this was no drilling but just making life hard on them. They could only obediently endure for now trying to make their movements according to the standard set by the elders so that there was nothing to nitpick. These two training elders had learned from their predecessors, and they didn't dare target Long Chen. Instead, they would pick out targets from the people beside him. One time, one of them set his gaze on Men Qi, but seeing Long Chen's icy gaze, he hesitated and decided not to in the end. After three days, Long Chen was finally unable to endure any longer. He could tell these bastards were just intentionally making things hard on them so that they had no time to cultivate. That very night, Long Chen, Gu Yang, Guo Ran, Song Mingyuan, Yu Zifeng, and Li Qi covered up their faces and snuck their way into the residence of those two elders. As soon as they snuck in, without saying a word, Long Chen charged forward, knocking down one of them with a spear. The other one was knocked unconscious by Gu Yang and the others. What's going on? How are they so weak? Guo Ran was dumbfounded. Fool, they might have a high cultivation base, but their true combat experience is essentially zero. They're just a bunch of servants amongst the workers. How strong did you think they would be? Said Long Chen disdainfully. He had long since noticed that while they had reached the early meridian opening realm, they lacked any murderous aura at all. Most likely, they had never killed anyone ever. Even when they had snuck in, the two of them had still been drinking. In fact, even once they had noticed several masked men enter, they had actually asked them what they were doing. Such idiots were truly the peak of all idiots. They brought the two of them behind a mountain. Long Chen said, break all their limbs. An extremely inhumane massage was followed by the sounds of bone breakings. However, 
the two of them were still alive, they were unable to make a sound, not because they didn't want to, but because Gu Yang's socks were stuffed in their mouths. Gu Yang's socks were the worst smelling, and even he would feel dizzy when he smelled them. As a result, that grand mission had been given to him. Who let you show off? Who let you bully others? Just keep going. Thinking of how insufferably arrogant they had been during the drilling, they beat them black and blue. They only stopped once the two of them had fallen unconscious, and they couldn't help feeling refreshed. All right, let's go. Long Chen felt that was good enough. If they continued beating them, they really might die. These injuries would probably require several months to heal. Long Chen brought them to leave, but Guo Ran had only just taken a few steps when he suddenly thought of something. A naughty smile appeared on his face, and he ran back. Taking off his pants, a stream of yellow liquid splashed on the two of them. Gu Yang and the others also became excited and ran back, giving the two of them a free shower. Long Chen was speechless and didn't join them. He returned to his residence, and he found someone from the Huaian sect waiting for him. This person had brought him a spatial ring. Inside were 10 million bone tempering pills. That made Long Chen incredibly delighted. They had just run out of bone tempering pills a few days ago. So Zhen Wenlong had sent them right on time. That person told Long Chen that to refine these pills, the Huaian sect had been recruiting alchemists from all directions. Now, their own alchemy team was extremely powerful. Long Chen asked this person whether doing so was safe, as it might expose the secret, but that person merely smiled and told him to be at ease. Of the Huaian sect alchemists, some were their own disciples and thus extremely reliable, while some were alchemists they had recruited. Those alchemists had all had to sign contracts that none of them would dare break. Furthermore, they were all refining within the Huaian sect secret rooms, and so there was no way for anything to leak. After sending that person off, Long Chen decided not to distribute all the medicinal pills like he had the first time but to just distribute 10 days worth. With Zhao Kifeng here, it was best to be cautious. If they noticed people had tens of thousands of bone tempering pills in their spatial rings, that would raise his suspicions. In the entire first monastery, after countless years of saving up, there had only been just over a hundred thousand bone tempering peels. That was only enough to raise a single complete tempering bone forging expert. Now, if each person was given that many bone tempering pills, that would bring trouble if it was noticed. Now was the most critical moment of their development, and Long Chen had no choice but to be careful. The next day, the training stopped because the two training elders had disappeared. Even the sect leader ended up being disturbed by the resulting commotion, and he ordered all the disciples to search. As a result, they found the two of them had been beaten up badly and were lying in a ditch behind a mountain. Furthermore, a disgusting stench was coming from their bodies. Seeing that, Zhao Kifeng was enraged. After waking the two of them, he pressed them for answers about who had done it, but the two of them had no idea who those people had been. All they knew was that it had been a bunch of black-robed people. But after Zhao Kifeng guided them a bit, they both spoke out at the same time to say it was Long Chen. But how could Long Chen admit to that? Wasn't this wrongly accusing him? As a result, all the Dragonblood Legion's disciples stood up to testify that Long Chen had been with them drinking wine at that time. He had never gone out, so there was no way he had committed this crime. Although Zhao Kifeng was 90% confident it was done by Long Chen, there was no proof. In the end, he could only drop the subject. From that day onwards, Long Chen and the others' days became even worse, because two more training elders came to do drilling with them. Furthermore, they had grown smarter, and all the meridian opening experts stayed together at night. Unless all the Dragonblood Legion moved out, it was impossible to capture them all. Most importantly, they were living not far from the sect leader's residence, and the smallest disturbance would alarm him. But they had to think of something, as continuing like this was not a solution. Long Chen wanted to raise everyone's strength, and he had no time for this, and so, Long Chen was preparing to make a large move, that night, he called Guo Ran over and the two of them discussed the plan all through the night, the next day, Guo Ran gathered all the Dragonblood Legion's disciples, this was an important matter, and all of them had to participate, Guo Ran, is boss preparing to publicly cut down the sect leader, asked Gu Yang excitedly, I don't know, but boss did assign everyone a very difficult mission. After saying that, Guo Ran took out piles of delicacies, filling up a large table. This is, everyone was dumbfounded. Was this a celebration? This is the mission boss assigned us. You have to finish all this food, and each person must drink at least two jugs of wine. Guo Ran laughed. P. 
People were unable to comprehend. What kind of mission was this? But Guo Ran refused to answer, and so they could only drop it and begin to crazily devour the food. It went without saying that cultivators had strong stomachs. Each person ate hundreds of pounds of food, and some drank five or six jugs of wine. Guo Ran, boss really is nice. He knew we were suffering from the bullying, and he wanted to make it up to us. Gu Yang hiccuped and laughed. He was the one who ate the most and drank the most. Make it up? He, Guo Ran laughed. Good word. All this food has had some supplements added to it so that when they enter the stomach, they will rapidly expand. As for the wine you drink, boss sprinkled in some five flavor tofu. At this time, you should be beginning to feel the effects in your stomach. Everyone's expressions changed. As Guo Ran had said, their stomachs were starting to ache slightly, and they also felt a certain valve was in danger of being breached. What's going on, Guo Ran? He, you've all eaten too many medicinal pills, and the toxins in your body need to be expelled. Otherwise, if the toxin reaches your souls, it will become impossible to remove. So, boss is helping you all undergo a detox, explained Guo Ran with a sinister laugh. You five sisters should hurry and leave. If you don't find a toilet soon, it might be too late. King Yu and the others blushed and hastily ran off. They could already feel it coming. Hey, you guys, don't rush off. You still have some work to do. Once the five women left, the others also felt something coming and wanted to slip away. Otherwise, it really might be too late. The danger of being breached was rising. The chamber pit has already been prepared for everyone. With a thud, a large barrel over 30 meters in circumference and 15 meters tall appeared in front of everyone. This chamber pit was more like a swimming pool. It was made entirely of steel, and it appeared to have just been made. Previously, your mission was to eat all that food. Now your mission is to work together to fill up the dung pool. After saying that, Guo Ran's expression suddenly changed, and he hastily took off his pants and began undergoing his arduous mission. Chapter 513 Crab Pool Translator Born to be boss. Are you sure about this? Don't you think this is a bit too vicious? Don't spout such rubbish. If we just continue like this, we'll be toyed with to death. Our time is our lives, and wasting our time is equivalent to killing us. This time, we must make a big move. So shut up and keep digging. Long Chen and Guo Ran were underground, wielding shovels and digging a tunnel with all their might. But they had to make sure to keep the noise to a minimum. Boss, this is a bit wicked. Why would you want to do it in the middle of the day? Guo Ran asked while digging. Aren't you still spouting nonsense? Haven't you heard of a certain phrase? Those who commit wicked deeds will be found out sooner or later? So I decided to just do this during the day. Don't bother with those useless details. Don't you realize how Kifeng is up to something? There's definitely a reason he declared there wouldn't be any drilling today. Have you prepared everything I asked you to do? This is extremely important. Asked Long Chen gravely. Don't worry boss. When have I ever let you down? The goods have all been prepared. Although it's not completely full. It's almost there. It can definitely drown a person. Boss, this time you really were a conner. The toxins from over 300 people. The splashing liquid. That sand. Guo Ran almost vomited. Ugh, don't describe it so much. Are you trying to disgust me? Looks like you'll need to train for a few more years. Long Chen rolled his eyes. He just knew Guo Ran felt a bit wronged and wanted to disgust him to even it out. After all, Long Chen had been the plotter, but Guo Ran had been the one to carry it out. To display his emotions to his brothers, he had no choice but to use himself as a demonstration. Despite knowing there was something in the wine, he had still drunk it. But boss, after this dedux, I feel like my mind is much clearer, like I've completely transformed, said Guo Ran. Of course, because cultivators consume too many medicinal pills, a large amount of pill toxins accumulate in their bodies. That's an even bigger problem for us since we come from more humble origins than those other geniuses. The medicinal pills we use are usually of lower quality, which increases the concentration of pill toxins. The amount of pill toxins we accumulated was too great, and if we still didn't expel it, it would have sunk into our bones and then infected our souls, becoming completely unextractable, said Long Chen. During this time, they had been consuming medicinal pills as fast as they could. Long Chen had noticed the pill toxins in their bodies had begun to grow to threatening levels and needed to be expelled. The two of them dug for over two hours, creating a huge, circular cave. Long Chen appraised it and said, It's about the right size. Go set up the mechanism above. When Long Chen and Guo Ran returned above ground, the sky had already darkened. The work had taken several more hours. 
However, everything would definitely be very worth it. Another tiring day came. The entire monastery was enveloped with a strange atmosphere. Each day, they would have to constantly train in order to establish a sturdy foundation. That exhausted everyone, and they had no energy to cultivate. By now, everyone in the monastery was well aware that Sao Kiffin was deliberately making things hard on them, making it impossible for them to cultivate. Originally, he had planned on cutting off their monthly stipends to slow down their cultivation speed, but that plan had been ruined by a smash of Long Chen's sledgehammer. Now, his scheming became even worse, and he directly used the most despicable method to thwart their cultivation causing all the disciples to hate him. They also felt immense hate for his pawns. Those meridian opening experts were all a bunch of petty men, using their position to bully them. They didn't have any of the style of experts. They used all sorts of reasons to make things hard on them, almost making everyone explode in fury, but they still had to endure it. Other than the drilling, they had added another aspect. When the drilling ended, the sect leader would personally come to see if anyone was absent. This was clearly just rubbing it in. The first monastery only had so few disciples. It was obvious if anyone was absent. Now, they would say names one by one, and each time, that name would have to be recorded, taking up another two hours of their time, just seeing Sao Kiffin sitting in front of them, smiling a smile that wasn't a smile. They had an urge to bite him to death. The drilling had just ended today. A meridian opening elder took out a clean towel and wiped it over the ground dozens of times to make sure there was no dust. Only then did Sao Kifeng appear in front of everyone. When he looked at Long Chen, his expression became one of disdain. Previously, he had summoned Long Chen, wanting to see if he could use some method to obtain Long Chen's secrets. That was one of his missions in coming here. But Long Chen ignored him, saying he was crapping and had no time to see him. If he wanted to see him, then that was fine. He could come to the lavatory. That had made Sao Kifeng furious, and he had even destroyed the decorations in his room again. However, he had no choice but to endure. He could only use this torment to make Long Chen submit. It had already been half a month. Each day, he would come up with ways to torment these disciples, not letting them cultivate. They had all reached the bone forging realm, which was the golden period to cultivate. Each hour was extremely precious. Now that half a month had passed, all the disciples' expressions were extremely ugly. But those expressions made Sao Kifeng incredibly delighted. He felt his plans were already starting to bear fruit. Success was not far. However, today he saw that Long Chen still didn't have the slightest expression. In fact, there almost seemed to be a smile hiding within his eyes, causing his heart to involuntarily clench. With the red carpet beneath his feet as usual, Zhao Kifeng walked over to his seat. A meridian opening expert hastily took out a new towel, and only after he rubbed the chair did Zhao Kifeng sit. Let's start a tenda. Zhao Kifeng didn't even have a chance to finish his sentence when the ground beneath his feet suddenly caved in. No one noticed that behind Long Chen, Guo Ran was stepping on a round thing on the ground. Once the ground caved in, Zhao Kifeng and his elders fell into the ground. There was a loud splashing sound as if something had fallen into water. Before anyone could go see what was going on, an incomparably foul stench wafted over. One that could overturn seas and reverse rivers. Run. Long Chen had originally been thinking of getting a look, but he had underestimated that stench. Although it wasn't as strong as that stink spider poison sack, it was only just slightly inferior. He hastily fled. The others didn't even know what was happening, but that stench was just too disgusting, and they all crazily ran while holding their breaths. Save Arg. Zhao Kifeng didn't know what was down below, but as a neat freak, he couldn't be touched with dust. He called out for someone to save him, but before he could, he fell into the water, gulping down a mouthful of it. When he saw the yellow and green liquid around him and smelled the stench that could make a person go crazy, Zhao Kifeng's eyes rolled into the back of his head and he directly fainted. He might be a Xi'anshan expert, but he had no fighting experience. Furthermore, he had extremely severe misophobia. He was surrounded by his nightmare. As for the other experts, they weren't much better off than him. They were just servants, and their training had been severely lacking. They had never run into such a situation. Falling into the crap pool, many of them ended up drinking a few mouthfuls in their panic before crawling out. Where's the sect leader? They had crawled out, their bodies stuck with some sticky residue, and it was unclear who was who. But after a while, they finally realized the sect leader wasn't amongst them. He's still down below. We have to save him. It went without saying that although they didn't meet the standard as experts, they were pretty good servants. 
They jumped their way into the crab pool to save their master. However, it took them an incense stick's worth of time to dig him out. Long Chen, this wasn't done by you, right? Tu Fang looked at that scene from a distance, feeling numb. The first thing they had seen once they had fled far enough was those meridian opening experts crawling out of the crab pool and then jumping back in. Even from a mile away, they could still smell that foul stench. That stench made them dizzy, and there seemed to be toxins within it. Noveloon.com How could there not be toxins in it? The Dragonblood Legion's warriors had all expelled these toxins. When they saw their self-made products had actually been put to use, they almost cried out. Don't falsely accuse a good person. Am I? Long Chen. Such a person? Who knows? Perhaps this is some new training method they came up with. Long Chen decided not to admit it. It wasn't that he didn't trust Tu Fang, but that everyone within the monastery had been gathered here. Who knew whether there would be someone to inform against him? Safety should still be his first priority. It was fine as long as he just laughed inside. Sometimes feeling happy just inside was an extremely good feeling. Tu Fang looked at Long Chen, and then to Cao Kifeng, who was still unconscious. Looking at the meridian opening elder's panic, he couldn't help sighing inside. They could have decided to target anyone but they had decided to target Long Chen. They were definitely looking to die, to die themselves with crap. Long Chen, this matter, started Tu Fang worriedly. Does this matter have anything to do with me? We've only just taken over this monastery, and who knows what mechanisms are present here. If there's a problem, they should go find the old owners of the first monastery. They can investigate them. In any case, I don't know anything, said Long Chen. He had long since thought of this way out. Although the mechanism had been set up by him and Guo Ran, as long as he refused to admit anything, what could anyone do to him? Where was the proof? They're leaving, cried out some people. Everyone hastily looked to see the few of them carrying Cao Kifeng and rushing toward a transportation formation. Long Chen laughed. Now we can finally get some peace. Chapter 514 The Aftermath of the Vicious Move Translator Born to be when Cao Kifeng and the others appeared in the Zhuanshan Supermonastery's transportation formation. The elders guarding the formation all jumped in fright, thinking it was an enemy attack. That was because when they appeared, a terrifying stench attacked their heads, making them dizzy. Furthermore, there was some liquid stuck all over them, and it was impossible to see their faces. Seeing a dozen unfamiliar faces who were all meridian opening experts, those elders panicked and activated the alarm. The alarm rang out throughout the entire supermonastery, and countless experts rushed over. Zhao Kifan was still unconscious. As for his suck-ups, they only knew how to fawn over him. Now, they had no idea what to do. Only once the elders demanded to know who they were did they realize they should report their names and beg to see assistant monastery heads how. They said their sect leader had been gravely injured. That person was comparatively smart and didn't tell the entire story, as that would be extremely embarrassing. Zhao Kingai quickly arrived. After all, it was her son, and although he was a bit useless, she still cared for him. When she saw her son was covered in a layer of grime that emitted a disgusting stench, Zhao Kingai almost went crazy, and right there and then, she began to curse those meridian opening experts. When she had selected these bodyguards for her son, she hadn't cared about their cultivation base or combat abilities. After all, within the Zhuanshan Dao sect, there was no need to worry about safety. She had picked out these people because of their methods and loyalty. As a result, these people's combat abilities were absolute garbage. But even with over 10 people guarding him, her son had still ended up in this state. If there weren't so many people present, she would have immediately executed all of them. What happened? Zhao Kingai walked up, wanting to see her son. But seeing that yellow-green liquid stuck to him, she almost vomited. We, we, don't tell me now. Hurry up and wash yourselves. Seeing that her son was fine and had merely fainted, she was very relieved. She had those people hurry up and take a bath, as they were really too disgusting. They hastily ran to a pool near the supermonastery and washed. As a result, all the water within several miles became incredibly foul, and all the fish in the water floated up, dead. Although they had rubbed themselves until they had shed their old layer of skin, they were still unable to eliminate that stench. Even their skin had been dyed a brown color, because they had stayed in the crab pool for too long. The pill toxins inside it had permeated throughout their skin. Unless they tore off all their skin, that color would never fade. Furthermore, the stench would be permanent. In the end, they returned to the supermonastery, their skin an odd shade that caused the disciples there to look strangely at them. However, 
no one dared ask them any details, because the stench coming from them was still too strong for them to get close. They only watched from a distance. When disciples in the lower ranking monasteries advanced to the bone forging realm, they would be sent to the supermonastery, as their own monastery did not possess the ability to raise them. In the end, the struggle between monasteries could not be allowed to affect the development of geniuses, or that would be digging their own grave. Thus, Zhao Kifeng's actions in targeting the first monastery had caused a stir in the entire supermonastery, let alone the disciples. Even the elders were waiting to see what would happen. So at this time, there were people who took a trip to the first monastery. They asked about what had happened and then returned, announcing that those people had ended up falling into a dung pit. That news caused a clamor within the supermonastery, and they all understood why those people looked like they did. Originally, Zhao Qingyi had been hoping to keep this matter private and to interrogate the guards on her own. But now, the entire supermonastery was aware of it, causing her expression to become exceedingly ugly. She knew there were people who were intentionally spreading the news, without even thinking about it. She knew it was Xu Wuhan who set that up. That was the reason this matter ended up causing such a huge commotion. When she saw the disciples looking oddly at her, she was so furious that she wanted to kill them. Long Chen, this time I'll definitely kill you. After learning the whole story from Zhao Kifeng's bodyguards, Zhao Qingyi's killing intent surged. She knew this matter was definitely done by Long Chen. Zhao Kifeng awoke several times, but each time he woke up, he would wildly vomit and then faint again. He possessed an extremely severe misophobia, and his mother knew that. Even a person without misophobia would be unable to endure being dropped in a crap pool. Furthermore, Zhao Kifeng had even swallowed a few mouthfuls of it. That was something that would affect him for the rest of his life. Zhao Qingyi's expression was dark as she went directly to the transportation formation. However, she was blocked by a certain person. Assistant Monastery Head Zhao, where are you going in such a rush and with such a murderous aura? Xu Wuhan smiled gracefully in white robes. This was the best mood she had been in since Zhao Qingyi had arrived at the supermonastery. She almost felt as if she had returned to her youth, and her whole body was filled with energy. During this time, Zhao Qingyi had used various methods to purchase quite a few of the supermonastery's elders in order to publicly oppose Xu Wuhan. It went without saying that Zhao Qingyi's methods were extremely brilliant. Furthermore, she was willing to spend an immense sum of money. Most likely, the Zhao family had given her quite a bit of privilege. She had quickly pulled in almost half of the elders with authority in the supermonastery, making Xu Wuhan extremely furious. Zhao Qingyi was practically absolutely shameless. Her brazen actions lacked the elegance of a great expert. Instead, her conduct was similar to the hoodlums on the streets. But such a move was something Xu Wuhan could not defend against. If she wanted to contend against it, she would also have to give up her dignity to pull back those elders. But Xu Wuhan had her pride, and she disdained to do such a thing. But while she might disdain to do such a thing, her opponent was in full swing. If this continued, it would just take a few years before all her authority within the supermonastery was essentially gone, and she would be the monastery head in title only. Just as she was hesitating over what to do, over whether or not she should also thicken her skin. Long Chen had sent her this great gift. Long Chen's actions were undoubtedly a vicious blow to Zhao Qingyi, and also a fierce warning to those elders collaborating with her. Long Chen brazenly injured a sect leader, and his crimes cannot be pardoned. So what if I want to kill him? You want to harbor a criminal, raged Zhao Qingyi. Currently, all the supermonastery's disciples and elders were watching from a distance. They all knew the two of them were like water and fire. They would fight until one of them was dead. However, their struggle represented two enormous entities, and from the outside, it was impossible to tell just who was stronger. The supermonastery's elders were all restless. Xu Wuhan and Cao Qingyi had torn off their pretenses and were publicly going against each other. They had to choose which side to join. According to reason, Xu Wuhan was the monastery head, and they should join her. But Cao Qingyi's momentum was torrential, and she rivaled Xu Wuhan claiming herself to be an equal. She was clearly trying to suppress her. Furthermore, Zhao Qingyi's methods were extremely straightforward. She secretly offered them extremely generous conditions, even saying that she could bring them into her Zhao family to grow. It was very enticing. However, which one of the elders with actual authority in the supermonastery wasn't an old fox? Although a portion of them had agreed to join Zhao Qingyi, that was just a verbal agreement. In truth, they were still just spectators. 
Looking at the current situation, it seemed the two of them really were about to have a throwdown. Their fight was about to reach a new intensity because of Long Chen's actions. You say Long Chen did it, but where is the proof? If you don't have any, then don't randomly bite people like a wild dog, said Shu Wuhan. You, Zhao Qingyi was incredibly furious. She even suspected this had all been set up by Shu Wuhan. Even if it wasn't done personally by Long Chen, he is definitely related to this matter. Once he's captured and interrogated, the truth will naturally come out. Oh, is that so? Then there's no need to capture me. I, Long Chen, have already come. Suddenly, a voice came from the transportation formation. At some unknown time, Long Chen had already appeared. Long Chen, Zhao Qingyi gnashed her teeth. Even after turning her son into his current state, he still was brazen enough to appear here. Novaloon.com assistant monastery head Zhao. Why do you want to capture me? There's no need to go to that much trouble. I'm already here. So if you have anything to say, you can say it here. Seeing Zhao Qingyi had turned ashen from rage, Long Chen couldn't help feeling refreshed inside. This could count as getting some interest for his previous humiliation. Long Chen, you really are brazen to harm a sect leader like this, shouted Zhao Qingyi. Hey, 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 don't make up so much nonsense. It's not like you were the one who fell into a crap pool. So how did you learn to spout such crap? Did you personally see me do anything? Aren't you just wrongly accusing a good person? Said Long Chen with great grievance. When Long Chen called himself a good person, Xu Wuhan almost laughed. If he was considered a good person, then were there any bad people in this world? Even Xu Wuhan had never imagined Long Chen would be this vicious. Dropping a misophobic person into a crap pool. That was even worse than killing him. But then thinking of how Zhao Qingyi had attacked Long Chen at the beginning, she had a certain thought. Wicked people were best handled by wicked people. You dare quibble. Once I capture you, we'll see if you dare lie again. Zhao Qingyi roared and a powerful aura locked Long Chen in place. The entire world seemed to have frozen, startling everyone. She shot forward like a bolt of lightning, a large palm aiming for Long Chen's throat. Long Chen was locked down by a terrifying pressure and unable to move. But he was sneering with ridicule. A figure appeared in front of him, and a snow white palm slapped across Zhao Qingyi's face. Chapter 515 Little Snow Undergoes Tribulation Translator. Born to be a crisp sound rang out. Zhao Qingyi flew back, and when she finally stabilized herself, everyone saw a very delicate handprint on her face. Zhao Qingyi, don't be so shameless. This is the Super Monastery, not your Zhao family. It'd be best for you to differentiate the two of them. Warned Shu Wuhan. Zhao Qingyi's expression sunk. This face slap was practically the greatest humiliation. She unsheathed her sword, and a terrifying aura filled the air. Everyone couldn't help letting out startled cries and hastily retreating. If an expert on this level truly attacked, then that terrifying power could destroy the entire super monastery. Zhao Qingyi, let me say it again. Don't be so shameless. Your miserable abilities are nothing in front of me. Don't think that just because you've reached the sea expansion realm that you're so amazing. Although we're both in the sea expansion realm, if I wanted to kill you, you wouldn't last even three exchanges. If you still want to stubbornly insist on doing things the wrong way, then even if I kill you, I will stand on the side of reason. At most, I will get a light punishment. But as for you, you'll have lost your life, said Shu Wuhan. Zhao Qingyi's chest heaved, her expression changing multiple times. Shu Wuhan was entirely correct. She was not her match. Shu Wuhan had already participated in three righteous and corrupt battles, and she was a true expert. Not only was Zhao Qingyi's cultivation base lower than hers, but her combat experience was also extremely lacking. However, this face slap was unenderable. She had never felt such grievance in her life. It's just a slap in the face and not something so big. We're all members of the same sect. Why quibble over such minor matters? Furthermore, your skin is so thick. As a Grand Sea Expansion old demon that wasn't embarrassed to attack a small bone-forging disciple, I'm sure that a slap isn't able to break through the defenses of your skin. It must not even hurt. Let's just let this matter end here, advised Long Chen. That made Zhao Qingyi feel like her face was burning. That was another slap on her face. Long Chen's mouth was too vicious. As for Shu Wuhan, she was also refreshed by his words, but she also cut at him with her eyes, startling Long Chen. Then, he quickly realized he had misspoken. By saying sea expansion old demon, he had ended up including Shu Wuhan in his cursing, and he couldn't help feeling a bit awkward. Seeing Zhao Qingyi glare at him, 
His fury ignited and he raged. What? Did I say something wrong? You shameless old BTCH. You repeatedly bullied me. Tell me, are you shameless or not? If Long Chen was able to beat her, he would have long since tried to kill her. The humiliation of her trying to make him kneel down had to be repaid. That enmity was enough for Long Chen to want to hack her to death a thousand times. Long Chen, I know this matter definitely has to do with you. Rage Cao King Gai. Are you a pig? I already said not to make up nonsense. If you want to accuse me, bring out your proof. Sneered Long Chen. The first monastery only has so few people. I don't believe I won't be able to find out who did this. Just wait. I'll definitely kill the villain who did this. Cao King Gai clenched her teeth Novaloon.com idiot. You still spout such crap before investigating. Even if you find out who did it, it will be up to the law enforcement branch to decide their punishment, not you. Other than that, let me tell you that we've only just entered the first monastery for over a month. We still aren't familiar with the monastery's structure. Those crab pools must have existed for a while. The amount of toxins in there would require at least a decade to form. Furthermore look at the crab's texture, color, smell, taste the meridian opening experts that had been following Zhao King Gai couldn't help it anymore and they began to crazily vomit. Those were Zhao Kifeng's bodyguards. And this time, Zhao King Gai had been preparing to bring them with her to the first monastery. They were to say it was done by Long Chen, and whether or not he admitted to it, they could still bring him back here and then consider their next move. But before they could do that, Long Chen had come of his own volition. Now that Long Chen had begun to describe the crab pool, their expressions darkened. When he mentioned the taste, they ended up recalling the sensation as it passed through their mouths, and so they began to retch. In any case, let me sum it up. If you want to punish me, then bring out your evidence. Goodbye. Just like that, Long Chen activated the transportation formation and disappeared from everyone's gazes. He had come suddenly, and he had left suddenly. No one knew just what drug he had taken. Only Xu Wuhan realized that he had come here to tell her that he hadn't left any openings. He had long since erased any evidence that could point to him, and he wasn't afraid of Zhao King Gai's investigation. Even if she found something questionable, Long Chen had all kinds of methods to handle it. He had come here to put Xu Wuhan at ease. If Zhao King Gai wanted to investigate, she could investigate as much as she wanted to. He had already modified the evidence. The toxins within the crab pool had been changed to look like it had been there for many years. He had also made the tunnel and pool look old and broken down. No one would be able to tell they were newly excavated. Thus, they wouldn't be able to match it up to the right times. If they wanted to find the origin, they would have to investigate the people that had been led by Sha Kishin, the ones that had been there years ago. Now, Sha Kishin had already died, while most of the old First Monastery's members had already left. From there, they could pick a few suspicious targets and investigate them for as long as they wished. In any case, they wouldn't find any concrete evidence. It was unknown just how long this investigation would take, but in any case, Long Chen was fighting a long-term battle. This was just to gain himself some time. Once Long Chen left, in order to appear impartial, Xu Wuhan formed an investigative team to find out what had happened. For the sake of being fair, both Xu Wuhan and Cao King Gai sent people. Right now, Xu Wuhan didn't have to do anything except keep an eye on Cao King Gai. She didn't let her leave her eyesight. This was for Long Chen's safety. Long Chen had truly given her a nice gift now. He had completed this matter beautifully. Not only had he essentially crippled Cao King Gai's son, but she herself had even landed a slap on her face. That feeling really had been satisfying and addictive. Whenever Cao Kifeng woke up, he would constantly vomit. He seemed to have gone insane, making Cao King Gai frantic. However, there was no way to fix this. Misophobia was innate, and there was no medicine to heal it. There was also no pill to heal his current state. Seeing her son be turned into this crazy state, Zhao King Gai was incredibly furious, and she secretly killed all his bodyguards. She knew she had been played by Xu Wuhan and extremely viciously at that. The slap in the face had caused all her prestige to disappear. Those fellows who had originally been indecisive about joining her side began to give her the cold shoulder. As for those who had agreed to support her, they began to enter seclusion, handing their matters to other people. That surprised and infuriated her. Long Chen had now completely ruined all her previous work. In comparison to Cao King Gai, Long Chen's mood was excellent now. Once he returned to the monastery, he gathered the Dragonblood Legion and distributed the medicinal pills to them. They all went into seclusion, 
and they were not to leave until they finished all the medicinal pills. He knew how King Gai had no way to counterattack for now. Their monastery would get a brief period of peace. This period of peace was extremely precious. Long Chen refused to waste it. Everyone went into seclusion to temper bones. As for Long Chen, he didn't have time to cultivate. The first thing he did was bring Little Snow out of the monastery. They traveled tens of thousands of miles, stopping within a desolate mountain range. Woo woo. Little Snow rubbed Long Chen's chest, his voice trembling slightly. Don't be afraid. I'll be here the entire time. In a bit, I'll just watch from a distance as you attack your bottleneck. If there's a problem, I'll immediately come to help. Long Chen patted Little Snow comfortingly. Little Snow nodded and rushed a hundred miles away. His body shook slightly, and suddenly a powerful aura soared. Little Snow's fur stood on end, looking like needles. Boom. The ground beneath Little Snow collapsed. The air around him shuddered, but nothing else happened. Rumble. Just as Long Chen thought Little Snow had been worried for nothing, thunderclouds gathered up in the sky. As expected, it really did come. Long Chen's expression was grave. That was tribulation lightning. There was no longer any doubt. Little Snow was undergoing tribulation. That was practically inconceivable. Ordinary magical beasts wouldn't have any tribulations. Only those magical beasts which possessed ancient bloodlines would have to undergo tribulations. Furthermore, even if they had to undergo tribulation, they would only start tribulations upon reaching the sixth rank. Sixth rank magical beasts were equivalent to the Xi'anchen realm for cultivators. When cultivators reached the Xi'anchen realm, they would also begin undergoing tribulation, using thunder force to temper themselves, transforming their Haoshan spiritual key to Xi'anchen power. Rumbling shook the sky, and boundless pressure crashed down on Little Snow. Little Snow was filled with terror, and his body couldn't help but tremble. Don't be afraid, Little Snow. It's just trying to scare you. If you end up being terrified, you'll end up losing. Don't worry, I'll be here, called out Long Chen. Long Chen was all too familiar with this scene. It made him think of his own first tribulation. At that time, he had faced a terrifying will that had horrified and panicked him. The spirit world expert had told him that that had just been to test his will. As long as his will was strong enough, he could disregard it. Now, Little Snow was the same as him. Suddenly, a thick bolt of lightning struck Little Snow. The ground exploded. Dirt flying everywhere. What terrifying power. This isn't lightning baptism but pure annihilation. Little Snow was covered in blood now, but he listened to Long Chen, bitterly enduring. He roared up at the sky. Boom. The second bolt of lightning ruthlessly crashed down on Little Snow, bringing with it a powerful pressure and a destructive aura. Little Snow cried out miserably. That terrifying power almost blew his body apart. He was unable to hold on and lay on the ground, vomiting blood. Just at that moment, the thunderclouds in the sky began to condense and a waterfall of lightning crashed down on Little Snow, who was now on his last breaths. Fuck off. An angry roar pierced through the clouds, and Long Chen appeared in front of Little Snow, a fist smashing toward the surging lightning. Chapter 516 Lightning Against Lightning Translator Born to be after those two attacks from Little Snow's lightning tribulation, Long Chen clearly saw that it was lacking a certain something that should have been there. It was said that lightning tribulation was a cruel trial but it was also a gift from the heavens. The lightning contained a destructive aura, but it also contained a portion of life energy to purify the flesh of the person undergoing tribulation. But Long Chen saw that Little Snow's tribulation was the same as his. Where was the life energy? It was entirely destructive in nature. Its only goal was to ruthlessly annihilate him. It was completely different from the records. That made Long Chen furious. The heavens were not only rejecting him, but they were also rejecting Little Snow Novaloon.com when the third bolt of terrifying lightning descended. He finally roared furiously, and Thunder Force covered his right hand as he ruthlessly struck the lightning tribulation. Boom. Long Chen's key and blood surged violently. However, he still managed to block the attack. Originally, the thunderclouds had already begun to show signs of dissipating, but once Long Chen's fist broke apart the lightning, heaven and earth began to rage and an area of tens of thousands of miles once more became filled with thunderclouds. A terrifying pressure locked Long Chen down. Come then, I want to see just what you can do to me this time. Long Chen placed Little Snow into his spiritual space and fed him a healing pill to stabilize his current condition. Right now, he had no time to heal him. Suddenly, the sky shook and rain of lightning crashed down. It's the same order as last time. Long Chen was surprised. He allowed the lightning to fall on his body. 
This thunder force was no longer able to cause any damage to him. Instead, he began to absorb the lightning. The lightning serpent tattoo on his left arm, which was where all his thunder force runes had gathered, was like a bloodthirsty beast that had seen food, and it began to crazily devour this thunder force. Boom. As time passed, the lightning grew stronger, each blow containing a boundless destructive aura. I didn't expect my body to have strengthened so much. Last time, I would have needed to defend with my full strength against this level of lightning, but now, I can endure it without even defending. Long Chen raised his arms, allowing the lightning to strike him as much as it wished. The lightning serpent on his arm was crazily devouring the thunder force for itself. Long Chen's physical body had already reached an abnormally powerful level. This terrifying lightning couldn't cause any real injuries to him. Suddenly, the tribulation clouds rumbled, and two lightning pythons shot out from the clouds, causing the void to tremble. Most terrifying of all, those two pythons suddenly merged while in midair, and a terrifying aura gave Long Chen a chill. The two pythons rapidly twisted around each other, attacking Long Chen with a destructive aura. He, you finally appeared. Battle intent sword from Long Chen. Last time, this pair of lightning pythons had nearly taken his life, causing him to feel extremely irritated. Even if the pair of lightning pythons represented the will of the heavenly deos, he didn't care. All he knew was that it was time for revenge. The lightning serpent on his arm lit up, and a huge lightning blade appeared in his hand. Countless thunder force runes flickered over it, causing the void to tremble. Split the heavens, Long Chen roared, and a will that caused heaven and earth to tremble surged into the sky. Boom. The void almost exploded. The lightning blade and the lightning pythons shattered at the same time. Long Chen flew back vomiting a mouthful of blood. However, this slight injury was nothing to him. Looking at the clouds that were finally scattering, Long Chen suddenly laughed. That was a release of emotions, as well as a provocation. You want to exterminate me? Wait until I'm stronger. Then I'll exterminate you. The black cloud scattered. The tribulation was over. Long Chen called out Little Snow. Although Little Snow was covered in blood and many of his bones were broken, his life energy was growing stronger. Furthermore, Long Chen sensed a powerful pressure from him. No crystal core. No Needon. How curious. All his energy is distributed within his flesh. Long Chen examined Little Snow's body, finding no Needon or crystal core. His energy was distributed throughout each and every cell. The red tuft of hair on his head had now become a complex mark. Little Snow was still unconscious, and Long Chen could sense his body slowly recovering, so he didn't give him any medicinal pills. If he could heal on his own it was best not to consume any medicine. What a powerful recovery ability. Looks like he really did reach the fifth rank. However, he's still in the midst of transforming. Long Chen couldn't be completely sure, but it didn't seem like there were any problems. Little Snow had mutated, and it was best to let everything come naturally. Carefully putting Little Snow back in his spiritual space, he returned to the monastery. While he had been gone, the investigative team had begun to make its way through the first monastery. However, the Dragonblood Legion ignored them according to Long Chen's instructions and simply focused on cultivating. Furthermore, it wasn't as if they really knew anything about that crap pool other than that it had their own contribution inside it. As for the ordinary disciples and elders, they never learned what had happened. Their investigation didn't reveal anything. However, after the investigative team had gone through the crap pool, they transported it far away. After all, such a thing was too offensive to leave in the monastery. Everything went according to Long Chen's prediction. The investigation was just a formality and wouldn't lead to any conclusion. Although Hao King Gai was certain it was done by Long Chen, she was unable to find any proof. Furthermore, she was also being closely followed by Xu Wuhan. She was helpless to do anything, and so Long Chen managed to escape the law. The first thing Long Chen did upon returning to the monastery was to find Guo Ran. That little fellow truly was not bad and he had managed to accomplish the task he had given him. After leaving Guo Ran's residence, he went to visit Men Qi. Men Qi was just blankly looking at the violet phoenix sparrow in front of her. It was unknown what she was thinking. Long Chen. When she saw Long Chen, her eyes brightened and she hastily came to greet him with delight. Why are you just lost in thought all by yourself? Could it be that you miss me? Laughed Long Chen. What surprised Long Chen was that Men Qi nodded, blushing. I was worried about you. Worried about me? He asked with surprise. Long Chen, it's not just me. Wonder is the same. Each time we see you face off against powerful enemies, our hearts clench inside. 
Seeing the worry in Men Qi's beautiful eyes, Long Chen felt a burst of warmth and lightly pulled Men Qi into his embrace, burying his head into Men Qi's hair. Sorry, I've made you worry. Men Qi's arms tightly wrapped around Long Chen's waist, her heart filled with warmth. Long Chen, how about we leave the monastery? We won't need to cultivate. We can just be some commoners living in seclusion. We'll live an ordinary life, give birth to a group of kids, and pass each day happily. Although our lives will be shorter, we can pass each day peacefully. We won't have to be constantly on edge, said Men Qi. Men Qi's words caused Long Chen's heart to tremble. The image of a maiden appeared in his mind. Although she wasn't extremely beautiful, she had a pair of beautiful eyes as well as a kind smile. Xiao Hao was still in that nameless little village. When she had parted with Long Chen, she had given him a necklace that Long Chen constantly wore now. Her final words rang out within his mind again. Long Chen, I know I can't keep you. I made this just now. I hope you can forever wear it on your body. Haha, <laughs> perhaps this gift is too poor and will be laughed at. I just hope that when you look upon this necklace in the future, you'll remember that there was once a girl, whose heart, yearned to go hunting with you, and make babies. That expression of melancholy and her soft voice appeared in his mind, causing him a burst of pain. Long Chen also wanted to give up the struggle of walking the cultivation path. He didn't care about fame or profit, but how could he not want to learn who his parents were? How could he live like that? But that didn't change the fact that this was a dangerous path. It was possible to fall at any time. Men Qi was a quiet and peaceful woman. The sole reason she had slaughtered so many people in the secret realm was because of Long Chen. She felt a great aversion to killing inside. But each time she saw Long Chen facing powerful enemies, she would feel afraid. Afraid that she would lose him. Men Qi, I promise you, I'll be fine. Trust me. Long Chen looked into Men Qi's eyes giving her a solemn promise. I'm sorry, Long Chen. I shouldn't be like this. This will disturb your day o heart. I'm just being too emotional. There's a saying in the secular world. If you marry a chicken, follow the chicken. If you marry a dog, follow the dog. Since you're my fiancé, I'll leave it up to you. Wherever you go, I'll go. We'll be together in life and death. Men Qi took out a small piece of paper, a smile appearing on her face. That paper was the marriage contract he had given her back then. She had carefully protected it all this time. She handed it back to him. You should take care of the marriage contract. Now I'm your fianke again. Long Chen looked at the marriage contract. All kinds of emotions surging within his heart. The scene at up the sunset mountain once more appeared in his mind. He felt as if countless years had already passed since then. You should keep the marriage contract. It's just a souvenir now. I've already said the marriage contract doesn't count. I'll pursue you anew. Long Chen held Men Qi's hand, laughing. Didn't you already manage to do that? Men Qi blushed, her face like a peach blossom in bloom, making Long Chen's heart pound. When pursuing a woman, you naturally have to have gifts. Come, let me give you a custom-made gift. Long Chen laughed mysteriously and took out a beautiful case. Chapter 517 Challenge to a Fight Translator Born to be what is this? Asked Men Qi, looking at the beautiful case. Haha, <laughs> beautiful miss. Please have a look. Long Chen opened the case, revealing an exquisite hairpin inside. Men Qi involuntarily exclaimed, How beautiful. The hairpin was seven inches long and completely golden. Complicated lines had been carved into it. At the head of the hairpin was a beautiful flower. It had 18 petals and 36 pistols, looking just like a real flower. What made Men Qi the most surprised was that even the extremely fine pistols were covered in decorative designs that would have required immense skill to carve. It was so beautiful that she instantly fell in love with it. Is this really for me? Asked Men Qi. Of course. It took me a long time to carve and polish this gift. It took a lot of effort. Said Long Chen. Thank you, Long Chen. Men Qi tightly embraced Long Chen. She was filled with delight when she looked at the hairpin. There was no woman who could resist such a beautiful ornament. However, if Guo Ran heard Long Chen's words, it was unknown whether or not he would take his hammer and smash his boss who he respected so much. It was true Long Chen had spent a great deal of time creating and polishing the design of this hairpin, but to say it had taken him a lot of work to make it was a bit shameless, as that hairpin was something Guo Ran had worked day and night for half a month in order to create. Oh, Men Qi suddenly let out a startled cry when she carefully held the hairpin in her hand. What? It feels a bit similar. Right. Long Chen smiled. This. Men Qi was a bit bewildered. He. Yes. It was created from the golden page. Long Chen laughed. He explained. 
This hairpin is now a true soul item. The 18 petals and 36 pistols, along with the main body of the hairpin, can all be separated and used as weapons. Each piece has soul imprint runes carved into them. As long as you nourish them with your soul, then your soul energy can send out even a single pistol to kill someone silently. Soul items were extremely precious, and apparently, even the Wind Spirit Pavilion's master had only possessed one soul item, a ferule that was extremely powerful, but regretfully, Long Chen hadn't gotten to see it. Under that lightning tribulation, all of them had been completely exterminated, their bodies turned to dust. Perhaps it was possible for an absolutely supreme spatial ring to survive, but Long Chen had been heavily injured, so he hadn't had any time to clean up the battlefield. Only someone on the level of the pavilion master had had the qualifications to possess a soul item, so it could be seen how precious they were. Could it be that Guo Ran made this? Creating a soul item must have been very taxing. Men Qi finally recalled how Long Chen had asked her for the golden page that day and then immediately gone to find Guo Ran. Taxing? Of course, it was taxing. Otherwise, that little fellow wouldn't have almost turned hostile against him. Creating it was nothing but the taxing part was carving those runes. If it had been an ordinary soul item, then it would have been fine. But to carve runes onto those tiny, delicate pistols was incredibly difficult. It was fortunate Guo Ran had a shocking talent when it came to forging. He had also comprehended some tricks from the ethereal crafting secret record. Although it was an extremely shallow understanding, runes were something a forging master had to have mastered. And so it was something he was capable of doing. But it was incredibly difficult. Just creating this small hairpin had been more difficult for him to create than his entire armor. For the next few days, you should pause your cultivation and focus on refining the hairpin with your soul energy. Once you brand your spiritual imprint on it, you'll have another trump card, said Long Chen. If she was fighting an enemy, Men Qi could use magical beasts to protect herself and then stealthily send out a flower pistol to one-shot her enemy. This hairpin was made of soul gold and that was something only Xi'anchen weapons or material on that level could block. But Xi'anchen weapons were incredibly precious, and less than one in two Xi'anchen experts possessed one. As for Xi'anchen armor, that was practically unheard of. But without a Xi'anchen armor, how would you defend against this soul item? It could be said that once Men Qi could use this hairpin, she would become capable of killing Xi'anchen experts, and her killing power might become the highest of them all. After talking with Men Qi for a while, Long Chen didn't hold her up from refining the hairpin any longer. He returned to his own residence to enter seclusion. Taking advantage of this time when no one was disturbing them, he began to crazily devour medicinal pills. When Men Qi had tried to persuade him to retire from the cultivation world, he had felt immense pain from the bottom of his heart. He couldn't watch as the people around him were killed. He also couldn't give up on finding his biological parents. Then his only choice right now was to get stronger. Whether it was for the people by his side, his parents, or even that mysterious voice that rang in his head occasionally, he had to get stronger. He had no retreat path. He had to charge forward all out, because as soon as he slowed down, he would lose the companions he cherished. During this time, the supermonastery was extremely calm. However, this calm was a bit frightening, because the investigation team only worked for a week before disbanding. Zhao King Gai wasn't a fool and she had already realized Long Chen hadn't left any openings for her to catch him. Continuing like this was a waste of time and would even make people laugh at her. So, she directly gave up on the investigation, and she sent her son back to the Zhuanchen Dao sect, hoping to use her connections to invite an expert soul cultivator to seal a portion of his memories. Sealing a portion of a person's memories was equivalent to sealing a portion of their spiritual strength. In other words, that person's soul would no longer be complete and it would make it impossible for them to advance. But in any case, Zhao Kifeng had always been famed for being useless. He had only reached the mid Xi'anchen realm thanks to a mountain of resources and special treatment. The late Xi'anchen realm would have been his absolute limit. For him to advance out of the Xi'anchen realm was an impossibility. Since that was the case, it was best to just seal a portion of his memories. That way, he could at least live normally for a few more years. After handling that, Zhao King Ai didn't make any further moves nor did she target the first monastery. Everything was exceedingly quiet, but this quiet was unable to give people a feeling of peace. This was like the calm before the storm, and it was unknown when that storm would erupt. This quiet lasted for a whole month. After this month had passed, a group of people appeared in the first monastery's transportation formation. 
Long Chen, get the hell out here. I, Han Shianayu, have come to challenge you to a fight. A furious shout rang throughout the entire monastery, and all the disciples rushed over to the transportation formation. Han Shianayu, when they saw who it was, their expressions changed. That person was acclaimed as the Super Monastery's junior generation's number one expert, a once in a thousand year genius, Han Shianayu. Currently, his expression was extremely dark, and killing intent filled his eyes. He seemed like a furious magical beast, and just looking at him gave people chills. Behind Han Shianayu was a woman. Many people recognized her, as she had once come to the first monastery. She was the Yun family's half stepsy expansion expert, Yun King. Beside that woman was an icy man with a pair of eagle eyes. That man's gaze icily swept over everything. Any disciple whom his gaze landed on would feel their heart start to pound and find it hard to breathe. At the same time, they felt their blood rapidly circulating, as if it wanted to explode out of their bodies. Those disciples were all horrified. It seemed as if he could almost kill them with just a look. Just how strong was this person? The three of them walked off the transportation formation. Han Shianayu didn't see any familiar faces in the crowd, and he once more shouted, Long Chen, you son of a BTCH, get out here, Han Shianayu, could it be that you want to kill yourself but don't have the courage, and so you want me to help you resolve that problem, an icy voice rang out, and everyone hastily turned their heads to see Long Chen slowly walk out, he was wearing black robes, and his gaze was practically electric, Long Chen, seeing Long Chen, Han Shianayu's handsome face instantly became twisted, killing intent roiling out of his eyes. Long Chen couldn't help being puzzled. Just why would Han Shianayu suddenly appear at the first monastery? Furthermore, he dared challenge him to a fight? Seeing Han Shianayu's current state, Long Chen's heart trembled. Han Shianayu seemed like a completely different person than before. Previously, Han Shianayu had been extremely gloomy, not revealing his own emotions easily. But now, his whole body emitted a berserk aura. That aura possessed a certain aspect that even intimidated Long Chen. But before he could examine Han Shianayu in detail, Long Chen felt a pair of eyes land on him. When he looked back at those two eagle-like eyes, his heart involuntarily clenched. That gaze seemed to possess some kind of magical power. And when their gazes met, Long Chen felt his blood began to circulate rapidly and out of control. His blood began to surge into his head. And if that happened, his entire head would explode. Long Chen snorted, activating the nine-star hegemon body art. His berserk blood instantly returned to calm. Oh, he has some abilities. The eagle-eyed man was a bit surprised. Long Chen was extremely shocked inside. This man had to have an extremely bizarre cultivation technique for even a single gaze to be an attack. Ordinary disciples could be killed with just a look. This place is the first monastery, and without our consent. Don't you think it's rude for your Yun family to come here? Are your ancient families also rude? Said Long Chen icily. You're wrong. I agreed to have them come here. Suddenly, the transportation formation lit up, and two more figures appeared in front of them. Greetings, monastery head. The two were Shu Wuhan and Cao Qingai. The one who had spoken was the latter. However, everyone only greeted Shu Wuhan, treating the latter as just air. Cao Qingai's expression turned ugly. Long Chen. Han Shianayu challenges you to a life and death battle. Do you accept? Shouted Cao Qingai. Chapter 518 Meridian Opening Spirit Cliff Fruit Translator. Born to be are you mentally ill? Why would I accept his challenge? Long Chen sneered. Did they think if they asked him to fight, he would just fight? It was obvious the Yun family's arrival here was no coincidence. Otherwise, Shu Wuhan and Cao Qingai wouldn't have come at the same time. Furthermore, Shu Wuhan had stealthily given him a glance, her meaning for him to be a bit more careful. There was definitely something fishy going on. Han Shianayu's aura was bizarre. It felt as if he had reached the peak of bone forging, and his entire body emitted an intense killing intent. He was completely different from before. But the most intimidating thing to Long Chen was that young man from the Yun family. He looked young, around the same age as him, but his cultivation base was extremely condensed and he was clearly a meridian opening expert. Just that person's gaze was able to cause waves in Long Chen's heart. He was definitely extremely dangerous, even more dangerous than a Xi'anchen expert. He hadn't expected such a terrifying genius to have appeared in the Yun family. This was clearly a trap, so Long Chen naturally wouldn't just jump in foolishly. Xu Wuhan was present, and he didn't believe they could force him. Novaloon.com CM Long Chen, 
When did you become such a coward? Sneered Han Shian Ayu. I hear you've been doing pretty well in the Yun family and obtained quite a few special resources. Did you return to the monastery just to flaunt your new status? Asked Long Chen lightly. That was just a random question. But Long Chen noticed Han Shian Ayu shudder ever so slightly. And rage filled his eyes. Long Chen. Although I went to the Yun family. That doesn't mean I left the monastery. I am still a monastery disciple. According to the monastery rules, if two disciples have an irreconcilable enmity between the two, one of them can initiate a life and death battle. If the other person refuses to accept the challenge, then they must leave the monastery. HMPH. So either accept or scram. It's up to you, said Han Shian Ayu. Long Chen's eyes narrowed. The monastery really did have such a rule. As expected, these people really wanted to force him to leave the monastery and then target him. With a petty person like Cao Qingyi present, not even Xu Wuhan would be able to protect him. It seems we don't have any irreconcilable enmity between the two of us. Long Chen shook his head. Bullshit. You. You not only killed my beloved, but you also killed my little brother. Our enmity is absolutely irreconcilable, roared Han Shian Ayu. Originally, he was about to say the truth about their enmity, but then he remembered that all of that had started because of him, while Long Chen had only passively defended. So he hastily changed what he said, raising the matter of Yun Wushuang and Han Shianfang. When Yun Wushuang was mentioned, the Yun family's people's expressions darkened, and they icily glared at Long Chen with fury. Long Chen had poisoned Yun Wushuang, making her suffer torment day and night, and no alchemist had been able to save her. Yun Wushuang hadn't been able to endure the torment and decided to kill herself. His actions not only had killed one of their disciples, but had also given them a slap in the face. They definitely wouldn't just accept that. Previously, Yun King had been blocked by Xu Wuhan. She had then returned to her family to discuss it with the higher-ups. But Xu Wuhan was standing on the side of reason. And behind her Zhuanshan Supermonastery was the Zhuanshan Dao sect they didn't dare provoke her. However, this time, they had found an above-board reason to come here. Xu Wuhan couldn't interfere with a legitimate challenge between two disciples. Monastery head, is this true? Asked Long Chen. Of course. Replied Cao Qingyi. I didn't ask you. Who do you think you are? Do you even realize your title has an assistant in it? Can you not act like you're so amazing? Just looking at that act makes me want to vomit. Long Chen spat on the ground. How brazen. Long Chen. Raged Cao Qingyi. Wanting to kill him immediately. I've always been brazen. So at least this time you're right. Said Long Chen disdainfully. This idiot woman really was crazy. Right now. He couldn't defeaturing her. But with Xu Wuhan present, then if he didn't piss this crazy woman off a bit, that would be letting down himself. Long Chen, I'll definitely punish you for being so rude to the monastery head. Raged Cao Qingyi. Can you stop it already? Have you gone senile? You've already forgotten what I just said. Just like a pig. It seems all you know how to do is eat. You're just the assistant monastery head. As the assistant, you don't have any authority at all. Look, do you ever see me even acknowledge you? Do you really consider yourself a person? Said Long Chen disdainfully. His words shocked everyone, including the two from the Yun family. They had never imagined Long Chen was this out of control, even daring to curse right in the face of the assistant monastery head. On the other hand, the first monastery's disciples were incredibly refreshed. Zhao Qingyi and her son had been a pain in their ass, and Zhao Kifeng's ridiculous training had caused them to receive quite a few beatings. They had long since been stifling a stomach full of fire. Not one of them didn't prostrate themselves in admiration towards Long Chen now. In this world, perhaps only Long Chen was this brazen. You, Long Chen, the monastery truly does have such a rule, and you have the right to choose to accept the battle or not. Even if you don't accept, I will still send you safely out of the monastery, said Xu Wuhan. Xu Wuhan, you, you are breaking the rules. Zhao Qingyi was absolutely infuriated. If it went as Xu Wuhan said, wouldn't all their plans be completely ruined? Zhao Qingyi, Long Chen is correct. Do you really consider yourself a person? I don't need your opinion on my actions. If Long Chen doesn't accept the battle, then he will no longer be a monastery disciple. For me to send him off is my own private matter and has nothing to do with the supermonastery. After being slapped so many times, it seems you've lost your memory. The Zhao family's face really has been lost by you, sneered Xu Wuhan. Originally, even if they were fighting, Xu Wuhan should have held back slightly. After all, 
they were both people with their own prestige, and acting like this was losing face for herself in the eyes of the disciples. But Cao Qingyi's conduct made it impossible for her to endure. Cao Qingyi was even more shameless, not giving a damn about her own status to target Long Chen. As a sea expansion expert who had lived for many years, Xu Wuhan saw through their trap with just a look. She also saw that there was something off with Han Xian Iu. Although Long Chen was strong and he had once killed Xianchen experts, that was just coincidence and luck. Those two Xianchen experts had been too overconfident, and they hadn't even circulated their Xianchen power to defend. That was the only reason they had been killed. As for Han Xian Iu, he had once been praised as the Super Monastery's number one expert, and Xu Wuhan was worried Long Chen might lose. It was best for him to be sent off instead. Her intention was to send Long Chen to the Mo family. That way, he wouldn't have to spend all day on edge like this. She would also get to relax slightly. Right now, Long Chen was caught in the struggle between the Xu and Cao families. Although he seemed carefree, he was dancing on the tip of a knife, and there was danger of falling at any moment. Xu Wuhan was worried that a single miscalculation might cause Cao Qingyi to take the advantage. If Long Chen ended up killed because of that, she would feel guilty for the rest of her life. Even if she killed Cao Qingyi afterward, it wouldn't make up for it. All right, then I'll listen to the monastery head. I refuse your challenge, said Long Chen. That stunned everyone. Long Chen had chosen to leave? The first monastery's disciples were unable to accept that. Even Han Xianiya was dumbfounded. He suddenly shouted, Long Chen, you little coward, don't you think yourself to be so strong? What happened to the boldness you had back in the Jiuli secret realm when you fought against the peak experts of the righteous and corrupt paths? Seeing that Han Xian I reacted the most intensely out of everyone, an odd smile appeared on Long Chen's face, and he sighed. Times change. Sometimes, bravely retreating in the face of danger is the way of the king. As for the glory of youth, don't even mention it. Bragging. He was definitely bragging. Just how old was Long Chen? What glory of youth. What bravely retreating in the face of danger. He was definitely acting. You. Han Xian I almost coughed up a mouthful of blood. You don't want to fight because there's no profit. Right? That's fine. Let me add some stakes. The man from the Yun family, who hadn't said anything this entire time, took out a dried up fruit. That fruit was the size of a fist. But if it wasn't withered, it would definitely be larger. Many lines covered the fruit, and those lines almost seemed like a diagram of a person's meridians. It was extremely bizarre. Meridian opening spirit cliff fruit. Long Chen couldn't help being astonished. This was the main ingredient in refining meridian opening pills. A single meridian opening pill could allow a bone forging expert to have a 30% chance of success when attempting to break through to the meridian opening realm. It had to be known that as a person's cultivation base increased, the stronger their bottlenecks would be. A bottleneck would be like a heavenly chasm that blocked the cultivator. There were countless cultivators, but it was unknown just how many of them were stuck forever at the bone forging realm. As for Long Chen and the others, they had chosen to undergo complete tempering, and their difficulty in advancing to meridian opening was over 10 times greater than normal bone forging experts. Originally, Long Chen had been worried that it would take a long time for everyone to advance once they reached the peak of the bone forging realm. It was even possible that some of them might be stuck forever, unable to advance to meridian opening in their lifetimes. He had thought of refining meridian opening pills before, and he had already asked Chen Wenlong to help him obtain the main ingredients of it. He knew several possible pill formulas. However, those medicinal ingredients had already gone extinct, and Chen Wenlong hadn't even heard of them. As for this meridian opening spirit cliff fruit, Chen Wenlong was well aware it existed. But such a treasure would immediately cause the Huai insect to set up a huge auction for bidders. Considering how long it had been and that Chen Wenlong hadn't sent him a word, it meant that he was unable to obtain this precious ingredient. So, this meridian opening spirit cliff fruit was just what he needed. All right, hand it over. I agree. Long Chen's words caused Xu Wuhan to jump. She hadn't even said anything before Long Chen agreed on his own. You haven't even won yet, so why would I give it to you? The man frowned. Isn't that just nonsense? This is a life and death battle, and if I lose, it will naturally be returned to you. In fact, everything I have will end up being yours, said Long Chen. That person smiled slightly. Long Chen was entirely correct, and so he threw the meridian opening fruit over to him. Catching the fruit, Long Chen was filled with excitement. He hastily threw it into his primal chaos space. There were a dozen seeds within the fruit. 
Once he planted those seeds in the soil, they began to germinate in just a breath's time. Are you ready? We can move on to the life and death battle. Chapter 519 Open the Death Deciding Stage Translator Born to be now can we initiate the life and death battle? The man looked at Long Chen with a bit of ridicule. Even if you obtained a treasure, the more important thing was keeping yourself alive. That meridian opening spirit cliff fruit was just bait. They had heard Long Chen was an alchemist, and supposedly, his alchemy skills were quite impressive. This meridian opening spirit cliff fruit possessed a fatal attraction to a bone forging alchemist noveloon.com other than this meridian opening fruit. He had also prepared a weapon as well as two secret tomes to bait Long Chen into fighting. Who would have thought that as soon as he saw the meridian opening fruit, he would immediately leap into the trap. That made him look down on him greatly. He was definitely a country bumpkin. In truth, the meridian opening spirit cliff fruit was a treasure only the Yun family possessed. It was one of their most important treasures. That was because the Yun family possessed quite a few meridian opening spirit cliff trees that they had inherited from ancient times. Later, the world had changed. The meridian opening spirit cliff fruits had gone extinct from this world. Thus, the meridian opening spirit cliff trees possessed by the Yun family became priceless treasures. Although there were several meridian opening pills, even the highest quality one of them could only increase the chance of breaking through by 10%. As for the meridian opening pill refined from the meridian opening spirit cliff fruit, it increased the odds by over 30%. That was definitely a heaven-defying effect. To complete tempering bone forging experts, that was a treasure they would long for even in their dreams. For a complete tempering bone forging expert, the chances of failing were too high. So just relying on their meridian opening spirit cliff trees, they were able to support practically their entire family. Over half the Yun family's income came from the meridian opening spirit cliff trees. As an ancient family, they possessed a profound foundation and many experts. If it was an ordinary sect, possessing just one such tree would guarantee that countless people would go destroy them to steal it. Seeing Long Chen smile so excitedly over just a fruit, that person felt a burst of disgust and urged him to hurry up. Long Chen, are you sure? Asked Chu Wuhan. Of course. I've already taken the gift, so I can't renege said Long Chen indifferently. All right then, the martial stage here isn't sturdy enough, so we should go back to the super monastery. Xu Wuhan was quite relieved by Long Chen's indifferent expression. Everyone walked into the teleportation formation. Tu Fang hesitated for a moment and joined them. As for the other disciples, they could only watch them leave. The transportation formation required quite a few spirit stones to activate. They didn't have the resources to use the transportation formation so they couldn't help being disappointed. Long Chen, how come Guo Ran and the others didn't come? Asked Tu Fang quietly. Why would they come for such a minor matter? If they have such time, they should spend it on cultivating, said Long Chen. Standing in the transportation formation, he was focused on the primal chaos space. He was secretly circulating his Feng Fu star and Aliyev star to urge on the primal chaos space. A dozen small sprouts were growing at a visible rate. Seeing that delighted Long Chen, the scene before them changed, and they finally appeared in the Zhuanshan Super Monastery's plaza. Open the death deciding stage. Following Xu Wuhan's shout, a bell rang in the distance. That resounding sound enveloped the entire Super Monastery. The Super Monastery became chaotic as countless disciples and elders surged over from everywhere. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that the Super Monastery had tens of thousands of disciples, and they had all reached the bone forging realm. However, after a brief moment of shock, he quickly realized that these disciples must be from previous generations, and their talent must be rather lacking. They were relying on the Super Monastery's missions to gain cultivation resources. That was the only reason there were so many of them here. He saw that some of these disciples were already no longer young. By the time Xu Wuhan brought them over to the 10,000 meter stage, countless disciples were already waiting to watch the excitement. The Super Monastery's death deciding stage rarely opened and it was usually only used by meridian opening experts. Many of these disciples had only been here for a few years, and they hadn't once had an opportunity to watch a battle to the death on this stage. Who do you think is undergoing the life and death battle? It was ordered by the monastery head, so it's probably two amazing people. He, this time there'll be something fun to watch. Before I leave, I'll have a chance to watch a fight on this stage. The person speaking was a man who was already 29 years old. According to the Super Monastery's rules, if you were unable to advance to Meridian Opening within 30 years, 
then you must leave. He could go to a monastery as an elder, but he would not be allowed to remain in the Supra Monastery. If a disciple was unable to advance to Meridian opening within 30 years, then the chances of them ever advancing in their lifetime was extremely remote. By going to a monastery, they were essentially just waiting for their death. To be able to see the death deciding stage used before he left was an extremely fortunate thing to him. Heavens, isn't that Han Shian Ayu? He's acclaimed as the number one genius of the Supra Monastery. I heard he left to join the Yun family I just can't understand. Han Shian Ayu is a genius of our Supra Monastery. So why did the monastery head allow him to be snatched by the Yun family? There were quite a few disciples who wondered this. That was basically raising a child for it to be snatched by someone else. They didn't understand what the monastery head's reasoning was. If you don't understand, then don't randomly guess. Do you think the monastery head's intentions can be understood by you disciples? Shouted a Zianshan elder. Those disciples immediately went silent. They didn't know that at that time, Shu Wuhan had been acting as a bystander, waiting for Cao Qingyu to make a fatal mistake. Other than that, she also didn't look favorably on Han Shian Ayu. Although he was extremely talented and tough, he lacked the determination to focus completely on the martial path. He only worked hard so others would worship and envy him. To put it frankly, he was simply too vain. Such a person was extremely difficult to raise properly. A person's nature was extremely difficult to change. A person like him might be able to quickly advance at the beginning. But once he met a setback, that might lead to a total collapse. In comparison, those people with ordinary talent worked harder the more they were challenged. And they could walk further on the martial path. What? How did he come? That demon king has appeared. Several people covered their mouths filled with disbelief as they looked at a black-robed figure that stood out amongst the crowd. Long Chen, why has he come again? Last time, he ended up beating up several meridian opening experts, and then during the sect leader meeting, he slapped a sect leader in the face four times. It couldn't be, it couldn't be that, muttered one person. Yes, you should be right. He's already walked onto the stage, cried out a person beside him. Han Shian Ayu against Long Chen, what's going on? People couldn't help wondering. Han Shian Ayu was acclaimed as a once-in-a-thousand-year genius of the Supra Monastery, while Long Chen was more like a marvel that appeared once every 10,000 years. Within the Zhuangshan Supra Monastery or its 108 monasteries, there was no one who didn't know him. The fact that the two of them were now standing on the death-deciding stage stunned all of them, but it also filled them with excitement. The two of them were peak geniuses, and this battle should be splendid to watch. The Supra Monastery's death deciding stage was no different from other martial stages. There was nothing like a fancy countdown system. Instead, it was simply extremely sturdy, and even meridian opening experts would find it difficult to break. Standing on the stage, Han Shian Ayu smiled sinisterly. Long Chen, you've been duped. Today, you'll definitely die. I believe you when you say I've been duped. I freely admit to it, but I need that meridian opening spirit cliff fruit. As for a definite death, I believe that too, because this time, I won't be letting you escape. I don't make the same mistake twice, said Long Chen. Ha 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 ha. Han Shian I raised his head and laughed, his voice filled with a deranged will. A vast aura slowly surged out of him. Boom. Space raged as Han Shian I's aura erupted beyond the peak of bone forging, the meridian opening realm's aura. He actually used some secret technique to conceal it. What a terrifying aura. Although it's clearly only in the early meridian opening realm, why can it make me afraid too? Wondered a shocked, late meridian opening realm elder. This fellow actually concealed his cultivation base until now. What a sinister plan. Long Chen will definitely die. I heard Long Chen managed to defa a Chiring Han Shian Ayu in the secret realm, almost managing to kill him. Now that he's advanced to meridian opening, he wants revenge. Fuck, isn't that too sinister? to conceal his aura until they were both on the stage. Han Shian Ayu's character is definitely trash. He's not worthy of being the Supra Monastery's top genius. Cursed someone. The Yun family's two experts sneered. They had obviously already known this would happen. As for Cao Qingyi, she felt delight upon getting revenge and icily said, Shu Wuhan, no matter how powerful you are, there's no way you can protect Long Chen now. He'll die, and this competition's winner will still be me in the end. You really did collude. Shu Wuhan didn't display any emotion. HMPH. So what? Zhao Qingyi didn't deny it. Han Shian Ayu hadn't formally left the monastery, and the Yun family hadn't changed his surname. 
That meant he hadn't married into the Yun family. In other words, his challenge to Long Chen was completely within the rules. This extremely obvious scheme was something impossible to block. Why bother? Suddenly, I feel extremely tired. For a simple competition, is there really any meaning in treating a disciple's life as nothing? Using them as just chis pieces. Side Shu Wuhan. Shu Wuhan. Don't bother with that hypocritical act. Today, I'll let you watch helplessly as Long Chen is killed. What can you do to me then? Ha ha ha. Sneered Cao Qingai. Shu Wuhan merely smiled indifferently. She just watched that expressionless man on the stage. She very much wanted to know just how strong Long Chen was. Chapter 520 The Difference is Too Great Translator. Born to be Long Chen. Do you have any final words? Han Shian Iuzora surged powerfully, shocking everyone. He was like a regent looking down upon Long Chen. Is this all? Long Chen was a bit startled. What do you mean? Said Han Shian Iu icily. I mean, is this your trump card? Asked Long Chen correct. I've already stepped into the meridian opening realm and am at the third heaven stage. I've already thrown you off far into the distance. Now I can crush you as easily as an ant. Sneered Han Shian Iu. Why does that sound so familiar? Long Chen frowned and then suddenly clapped his hands, exclaiming, Ah, I remember, a while ago, there was an idiot who said something like that to me. As a result, I ended up slapping him in the face. Could it be that you're related to that idiot, bastard? Before Han Shian Iu could reply, a fat man in the distance roared. That person was the one who had been slapped in the face four times by Long Chen. Sha Tong He. The opening of the super monastery's death deciding stage had immediately alerted all the sect leaders, and they had all rushed over to watch. However, Sha Tong He had only just arrived when Long Chen helped spread his fame. His face twitched, and he saw quite a few people looking at him oddly. As always, you're still so dislikable, but that's fine. Today, I'll end your life. Han Shian Iu sneered sinisterly. Ah, do you think that's enough? I seem to recall when I was just in the tendon transformation realm. I was already able to beat you into a dog when you were at the bone forging realm. Now you've advanced to meridian opening, but I've also advanced to bone forging. I really don't understand where your confidence comes from for you to dare challenge me to a life and death battle. Long Chen shook his head. The people outside now suddenly realized he was right. Within the secret realm, Long Chen had slaughtered the righteous and corrupt paths experts. Many of them had already forgotten Long Chen had only been at the tendon transformation realm back then while his enemies had been chosen that had reached the bone forging realm. Now their presumptions that he would be suppressed under an entire major realm's difference and killed were blown away. Long Chen was a monster who could fight across realms against top chosen. HMPH. Idiot. The current me is no longer the old me. You can die now. Han Shian I roared and his aura exploded violently. A fist smashed toward Long Chen. This fist caused heaven and earth to tremble, and everyone's expressions changed. What a terrifying fist. This is Han Shian Iu's power. The meridian opening experts were all astonished. If they were the ones facing this fist, they would only be able to dodge. They wouldn't dare take it head on. Not only did this fist contain boundless power, but it also contained an undefeatable will that made people involuntarily lower their heads. Han Shian Iu truly is a genius. Shu Wuhan couldn't help nodding inside. This fist already contained the essence of going from something complicated to something simple. It was incredibly polished, and it also contained a locking force that would make it impossible to dodge. Bam! A large hand caught Han Shian Iu's fist. What? Everyone was astonished. Long Chen had randomly extended a hand and caught Han Shian Iu's incredibly powerful fist. His strength is incredibly condensed. He used his own energy to scatter Han Shian Iu's power. Long Chen truly is a monster. Seeing Long Chen easily block Han Shian Iu's punch. Even Shu Wuhan couldn't help being startled. Perhaps others were unable to tell, but she clearly saw at least seven streams of energy within Long Chen's palm at the moment of contact. They were what had erased the power behind Han Shian Iu's punch. If she hadn't interacted with Long Chen so much, she would definitely suspect he had been possessed by some old ghost. That kind of control over power required an incredible skill. This showed that Long Chen's control over his own power had reached an incredibly delicate level. If it was someone like Shu Wuhan, possessing that kind of control wouldn't be so shocking. After all, she had lived for hundreds of years without her realm or power increasing. Her own control had already reached the pinnacle. But Long Chen wasn't the same. He was in his golden cultivation period. And each day, his power increased rapidly. Before he could even adapt, 
his power would increase again. That was why according to reason, it should be extremely difficult for Long Chen to control his power this finely. However, he had managed to do it, which was what shocked Xu Wuhan the most. However, the most shocked person was obviously Han Shian Iu. He was no longer the old him, and it was unknown just how many times stronger he was now. But just now, he had felt as if his punch had been a drop of water that had landed in a desert, and all its power had been instantly sucked away. While he was still recovering from his shock, Long Chen had already raised a hand, and it swung in a beautiful yet bizarre angle. His hand ruthlessly slapped across Han Shian Iu's face. In front of everyone's dumbfounded gazes, Han Shian Iu was sent flying. What kind of technique is this? Xu Wuhan was even more shocked. From the time he raised his hand to after it struck, it had seemed like one perfect movement. That smooth and perfect movement warmed the heart and delighted the eye. It had seemed like one indivisible hole. During his slap, it had felt as if time had stopped. The only thing moving in heaven and earth was his hand. As it swung in that graceful arc it was so beautiful that it would almost feel blasphemous to interrupt it. Previously, when Long Chen had slapped Sha Tong Hei, his back had been facing her, and so she hadn't noticed this. Now that she saw it clearly, she was completely stunned by how strange this slap was. A-H-H. Suddenly, a furious, almost bestial roar rang out, causing everyone to recover from their shock. They saw Han Shian Iu glaring at Long Chen, his eyes practically spitting flames. Why do you have such a violent temper? Wasn't it just a slap in the face? Don't be so petty. Look, you wanted to kill me, but did I fly into such a tantrum? Advised Long Chen. Die. Han Shian I roared and nine runes appeared on his face. Nine line key explosion art. Boom. Space violently shook and twisted around him. A terrifying aura soared out. Those disciples who were too close to the stage hastily retreated. Even meridian opening experts were unable to endure that pressure and retreated. The sound of his sword unsheathing was like a dragon's cry. Han Shian Iu's sword was covered with runes that emitted an ancient aura. A Xi'anshan weapon. Someone let out a startled cry. Considering the terrifying pressure from it, there was no doubt that Han Shian Iu was wielding a Xi'anshan weapon. Die. Han Shian Iu roared, charging at Long Chen. His sword cut through space as it slashed down. Long Chen also roared. Now that Han Shian Iu had activated his nine line key explosion art, he didn't dare look down on him. A blood-colored saber appeared in his hands, and he slashed it at Han Shian Iu. Boom. The saber and sword collided, causing an immense explosion. Suddenly, an odd noise came from the stage beneath their feet. Heavens. The martial stage is cracking. Their saber and sword were still tightly pressed against each other. That terrifying force was destroying the martial stage beneath their feet. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Han Shian Iu let out a furious roar and crazily attacked Long Chen with his sword. Long Chen repeatedly blocked with his saber, releasing terrifying key waves that spread in every direction. Those spectators had now fled hundreds of meters away. What terrifying power. Han Shian Iu can definitely dominate anyone within the same realm. But, a meridian opening expert couldn't help sighing inside. But after sighing that Han Shian Iu could dominate his realm, he felt he was a bit wrong. If Han Shian Iu could dominate his realm, then how should Long Chen be described? What's going on with Han Shian Iu? He clearly has the advantage. So why is he acting so crazy? Several experts saw through some clues. Han Shian Iu was attacking all out, while Long Chen was only passively defending. However, Han Shian Iu was the one clenching his teeth furiously, his eyes filled with hate. There's nothing impossible about it. This is just the difference between us. You might have advanced to meridian opening, but the difference between us is just growing greater. Long Chen swung his saber onto Han Shian Iu's sword, and a powerful force erupted, blowing him back dozens of meters. Back in the Jiuli secret realm, perhaps you had the ability to threaten me slightly, but now, you don't have that ability. Originally, we didn't have any enmity between us. We could have walked our own paths. Unfortunately, you made a mistake. You wanted to trample on my corpse to advance. It's very regretful. That desire of yours will never be achieved. Not only will you never achieve it, but anyone with that desire will find themselves dying beneath my saber. Saying those things now is already meaningless. Han Shian Iu, since you are a generation's genius, I'll give you a chance to kill yourself, said Long Chen indifferently. The crowd was deathly silent. Many people finally realized why Han Shian Iu seemed to have gone crazy. He had already been fighting all out. But Long Chen was just fighting half-heartedly.
the difference between the two of them was truly too great. That scene shook all of them. Even someone as powerful as Han Shian Ayu could be ignored by Long Chen. Long Chen was definitely a monster. Long Chen, don't think you've won just like this. Even if I have to die, you'll accompany me as well. Han Shian Ayu suddenly roared, and his expression became even more malevolent. His eyes lost their whites, making them look like the eyes of a devil.